Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yaha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. Can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads, thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Hiffy. Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. I don't want to reread the old files. Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. Read them already. Didn't help. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. Probably scared I'll not a bad idea. Domino's door is locked. Domino's door is locked. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? 
busy as ever, I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I wanna see. And you don't want Domino here alone, getting all the good leads. Domino's here? He's at the poisoning right now, stealing your commission. So, you going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, Bellissa. Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. What? Well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? What poisoning? The Code 3 gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. Uh, I forget. Am I supposed to be somewhere right now? Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? Yes. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out, if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trap soul and you don't even know it. Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Good tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. Just one more question about my job. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. Service! Hey, Genie! Come out of the lantern already! Huh? Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect... Sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No! No, no, no! I don't ride them. Just wrench them. Nice hut. Yeah, I wonder how nice it would seem to you if you were trapped in it all day like me. If you hate your job, why don't you quit? It's not just a job. It's what I was created to do. If I get any farther away from cars than this, I'll get sick and die. It's like I'm not happy unless I'm breathing in the thick, black, nauseating fumes. Hmm, can't imagine. I'm Calavera. 
Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey, I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Looks like I need a new driver. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm too big. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'm, but I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, hey, hey. that's my line. Getting people to sign back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. That won't help it get signed. Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? If I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Kel. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. Going down, clown. Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? Some festival, huh? Yeah. Yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any... Tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue, but that doesn't seem to shut you up, now does it? Bang! Ah, popped another one. Lousy, bony fingers. You teach me how to do that? Well, um, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is? Blow. Practicing what? Wringing your neck. What does it look like? Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. A dead one. Heck, that's easy. There's no limit on those. That's not what balloons are for. Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos.
It's huge. I can't open it. I don't got the lungs for it. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. I'll just change his auto response here. Ah, oh, great, Zeba. Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. That wouldn't be a very good use of this special. It's the loose end of the rope made of ties. It's pretty long, though. That wouldn't be a very good use of this special ceremonial bread. That ladder goes to the roof. That's not what balloons are for. Hello? Eva, I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, cripes, Eva! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. Eva, I mean... Rest. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. They say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! <laughs> <laughs> Domino. Ooh, the 
living still give me the creeps. Scaring the living is technically against the rules, but we all do it. If I scare them to death, then they'll become a customer. But I'll get nailed with a conflict of interest rap. Psst, it's me. Death. I'll see you soon, okay? My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Nice bathroom! offer several travel package upgrades if you care to cut the yeah I want something cheap where I can get some rest and that's it ay 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 you know Manny I could make this car a little faster if you want it yeah yeah whatever oh yeah slam the front into the weeds tub the rear end do blowers pop it out of the hood <laughs> You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix, like this. Oh, on second thought, I, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, wait! Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno, but my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street, no job, no way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill. Who you calling a scumbag? Why, I on a... <sighs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick? It's time to take one. You know, Copal's not really in his office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. Grow up, darling. I can't find my driver. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. Hey, you missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Híjole, I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Well, at least you don't work for one. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I tell what you. Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? Big Mr. Boss Man. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Callie, how you doing? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo-choo, little buddy. Say, how'd you score? I got two nuns, actually. Hey, that reminds me of this really funny joke. Heard it. I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. Can I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get one I think you could handle. I can handle anything you got, especially if that's your best right jab. 
Why do you get all the good clients? You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. What did you do to get this job? You mean what's my secret to success? No, I mean how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit and how long are you gonna have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you, but I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. I wanna punch you in the mouth. Oh, no, not the Christmas party all over again. What happened at the Christmas party? Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. I think we should team up. Be partners. Oh, Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. I could never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. I want my office back. Don't worry, you'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out and you're still here. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> well, you sound pretty out of breath, so I'm gonna blow. Always a pleasure, Cal. got a lock on it. I can't believe he doesn't trust me. I should close Bruno's record before the black marks burn into my screen. if I try to get one down by myself. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. This sign says, I'm at the junkyard. suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that, huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. Copal, Domino Hurley, Junior Sales Associates. That better not be me.
Ugh, that smell. I'm not getting that stuff all over my hands. Take a little more bread to honor the dead. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. That's not what balloons are for. That's not what balloons are for. My kid, uh, uh, okay, a cat. <laughs> no problem. Ta-da! My kid, ah, uh, jeez, a dingo? That's my specialty. Ta-da! Some of my finest work. My kid, uh, uh, Robert Frog. Trying to stump me, eh? Ta da! This balloon is filled with a light chemical. Is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? New shoes. Warning. Fire system. Do not touch. This balloon is filled with a light chemical. This balloon is filled with a dark chemical. Up below. My message tube is full of nothing, as usual.
so what else is new? Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do what you... Server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that! Who would do a terrible thing like this? It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right! Just curious, how'd you get in there? I squeezed down one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. Can I squeeze in there, just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. What's so special about you? I, sir, am an elemental spirit. Summoned from the land of the dead itself. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. You were given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No, I was created to run the elevators, but they put in those dang motion detectors and put me out of work. So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. So how long is it going to be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. You know, I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe. You know, gotta cover my ass. Yes, you do. Say, uh, chatty coffee. I got a lot of tubes to flush here. Hey, me too. I'll let you go. Again! Ah, 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 ah. You trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher! Spray that on this packing foam and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here! What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste! Still not getting any messages. I'm giving you one right now, but you can't see my hand. As a rule, I never touch anything more sophisticated and delicate than myself. Can't reach. Can't reach. That wouldn't be a very good use of this special ceremonial bread. That's not on fire. Deck of cars just wouldn't help there. Government work.
Read them already. I should close Bruno's. That's not on fire. Deck of cars just wouldn't help there. There she is, the number nine. One of these days, I'm gonna ride her right on out of here. This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edge. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. I remember the year they built that. Mostly because it cost so much, we didn't get bonuses that year. Da caños. My kid, uh, do you have any more dead worms back there? Wells. That's not what but my kids. Do you have any more? Well, sh
Server's down again. What else is new? I've just locked an open door. Strange, yet symbolically compelling. Hey! I'm still not getting any messages. I'm giving you one right now, but you can't see my hand. Good enough for government work. Got a locked can. I think Dom would call the company shrink if I left through the window. Manny. Right. I.
money, if you don't mind. I've got a lot of filing here to... Right. I do what you... Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock his... Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. Mercedes Colomar, client number 9308, blah, 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 died of chicken pox, time of death, yada, 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 aha, positive attributes, volunteered time, reading stories to dying children. That's good. That's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Gladys, are you loco? What got into you? That was a company car. Oh, yeah. And it's even better company now! Hop in! <laughs> Buenos dias. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calaveda. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. The only implication here is that I'm fired. Is it something I did? Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Mean to animals? Oh no, I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha! Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh-huh. Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now, if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry, I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. Excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble. But please, call me Manny. I just don't understand it. Why can't I find anything good for Mechi? Uh, 
I'm still on the case, Mitchie, but I haven't found anything for you yet. Maybe I'm not the woman you were hoping for. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. Hey, funny bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent! There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine! Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients to Domino! That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service. Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! Ooh, ick. It came out like soft-serve ice cream, but judging by the smell, I think it's auto-body filler. Anybody out there? So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? I'm thinking about getting out and getting even. That's it. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club, Salvador Limones and guest. Where are you taking me? To the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. To do what exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny? I was once a Reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears, unprotected and alone. Like babies, Manuel. Like babies. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you Agent Calavera? Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well. You won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, Manuel, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. It won't budge. It opens for members of the LSA only. Do you 
know something I don't know? Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yes. My last client in particular, Michi. Well, they all did qualify, Manuel. Especially her. But somehow, somebody with access to the files has stolen their just rewards. Their sweet hereafters. Their tickets on the number nine? Precisamente, amigo. What would they do with the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, Manuel. Especially to one who has died with a less than perfect record. Someone is profiting here from those that would buy their way into heaven. But money's not important here. We all just want out. You want to get out, Manuel. And so do I someday. But for some people, this world is all there is. They have decided to seek pleasure and happiness here in the Eighth Underworld. And for that, you need money. What do you want from me? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No. I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. Now that's all the briefing you need, soldier. Viva la revolución! Have you thought about using messages tied to balloons? I can get you plenty of balloons. Pigeons, Manuel. Bring me their eggs. Pues, okay. Viva la revolución! So you're not really a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Well, that's the last time we used that temp agency. Doesn't Kapal wonder where you are? Don and Domino are both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown. Some fatty in a fez. Hmm. Who is the fat man, I wonder? And how does he fit into this sinister puzzle? Any messages for me? Yes. Join or die. But I'm already... Again! How long have you been a spy? Salvador recruited me about a year ago. I couldn't resist him. He's just so noble. What are you working on there? I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field. But it looks pretty hopeless. Salvador's right. We need good old-fashioned homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. You have field agents? No, it's just Sal and me right now. But someday, Manny. Eva, you gotta get me out of town. They're gonna sprout me. You can't leave, Manny. We need access to the DOD computer network if we're ever gonna find out what's going on. And we can't access without a salesman like you. The computer IDs you when you log on. How does it do that? Fingerprints? I don't have any. Your teeth, Manny. Haven't you ever noticed your computer scanning your teeth when you log on? I thought that was just a power search. We need your teeth, Manny. We can't let you go. Sorry. So, you won't help me out of here. Sorry. I'll help you out, but not your teeth. Think it over. Gladys. It's locked.
just a loose end of the rope made of ties. It's pretty long, though. I don't want to mess up my blade. this in his mouth. It's meant for mouths. No use. He's got a lot. Can't believe he does. Try to guess his password. Nope, it's not Golden Boy. What the? It looks like a glowing hunk of coral. for it. It's locked. It's Domino's mouthpiece. Why am I carrying this around? Congratulations, Domino, on your new job. Hector. It's meant for mouths. It's meant for mouths. I wonder if that's how Domino meant it to be used. that aren't nailed to the roof. Hmm, they don't 
look scared. I think they're actually laughing at me. Hmm. They don't look scared. I think they're actually laughing at me. Hmm. They don't look scared. I think they're actually laughing at me. Maybe that will scare them. Eventually. It's meant for mouths. There's a not very scary balloon in there. Fill a dent. Good for dents, great for dentures. Take a little more bread to honor the dead. I just take a little more bread to honor the dead. You lousy little ledge pickers! You must come with me, young ones, for I am the Green Reaper. Man, are those pigeons gonna be. Man, are those pigeons gonna be ticked. Agent Calavera, and two guests. I don't want to break them. 
check these babies out. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to you, Agent Calavera. I myself would also like to spread across the land. But you can't. We need your dental work here to access the computer. I am sorry, but freedom has its price. Look, you got the eggs you wanted. Now can I go? Sorry, but your teeth. The revolution depends on your teeth. Viva la revolución! I'm not sure what to make of that. Why don't you show it to my intelligence officer? Ooh, what is that? Custard? Try it. No thanks. I'm watching my figure. Ooh, what is that? Try it. No thanks. Why won't you help me out? I need your teeth, remember? Why won't you help? I need your teeth, remember? This mouthpiece is full of philodent. Ooh, what is that? Try it. No thanks. I'm watching my figure. Ooh, what is that? Custard? Try it. No thanks. I'm watching my figure. Wow, that made a perfect impression of my teeth and then quite a chalky aftertaste too. Manny, this looks like a perfect impression of your teeth. We can use this as a mold to make a fake set of teeth and get into the computer system that way. Good work, soldier. You are a friend of the revolution, Agent Calavera. And now, let me be of service to you. You must go to the town of Rubacaba, my friend. If you want to find your lost soul, how do you know where she is? I don't. But everyone who wants to get to the Ninth Underworld must cross the Sea of Lament, and therefore must go to Rubacaba to get passage on a ship. As long as you get there before she does, you'll find her. But it may be quite a wait. I'll wait as long as it takes. Manuel, are you in love with her? Love? Love is for the living, Sal. I'm only after her for one reason. She's my ticket out of here. That was some tunnel. I'm all the way to the edge of the petrified forest. After all I did to get out of town, I am never going back to that place again. At least not without Mechi. I was created just to do that job. It's the only thing that makes me happy. It's like they reached into my chest and pulled out my heart and threw it into the woods to... Gladys, what have you done? Oh, Gladys. Wake up, buddy. Wake up, buddy. Wake up, buddy. Nah, it's too well anchored. I can't drive that thing. <laughs> I can't just leave Gladys laying there. You could be dying. I can't just leave. 
believe Glot is laying there. He could be dying. I can't just leave Glot is laying there. He could be dying. <laughs> oh no. Ooh, ick. Shoot. Uh, it's stuck in there good. I guess I could always use a spare. in there good. Piece of cake. Hi, Chihuahua. Don't think that's gonna work. That's not on fire. Soup's on! Huh, they don't seem very interested in that bone I put in there. Uh, it's stuck in there good. No more demon hard to eat. <laughs> Still beating. Good, strong, beating good heart. Hey, is that my car? Mr. Lamonds, I assure you the missing woman will be found. I will personally track her down myself. Just like you personally picked her up from the land of the living? That was my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat your lunch? Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Don. You should know I can get too mad. But not at Domino. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation. At least, not until now. Hector, no! Marigolds. <laughs> Funny. For some reason, I was expecting tulips. Well, maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? The sooner he's sprouted and we can get back to business, the better. Wanna go for a ride? I thought you'd never ask!
not right now. A second. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
What are you doing? Hey, don't sneak up on me like that. Don't you know what's on the other side of that gate? Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny! They'll make you into a dam! Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But Manny! They don't use wood. thrown away that little hand exerciser Domino got me for Secret Santa. on fire. Okay, I don't know what those weird noises are, but I think I'd rather go find out in the safety of the bone wagon. Looks like some sort of warning sign. They'll tear you apart, bone by bone, and build with you a human throne. Their buck king will sit upon what once was you, but now is gone. This key unlocks the gates of hell. Steady traveler, use it well. Can't pass up an old creepy key.
with those monsters on the other side, I'm happier with this thing locked. I'll just drop this one. I'm carrying around too many of those already. I could swim a single stroke in that tar. No, I don't think I could swim a single stroke in that tar.
That road leads out of the forest, I'm sure. But I don't think I'd get very far on foot. Plus, how could I leave without Gladys? This outer gate is huge. I'll need Gladys to open it. the bone wagon I couldn't take that off with my bare hand if only I hadn't thrown away that little hand exercise or domino got me for secret Pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but... Oh! If we shook the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, and I could make high-lift shocks out of them for the bone wagon! Hold on. I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights. That'll shake her down for sure. Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. Hey! 
That should do it. Still not enough. And maybe if I move them around a little... Hey, while you have that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. Not enough. And maybe if I move them around a little. This place gives me the creeps. I'm ready to go when you are. This place gives me the I'm ready to go when you are. While you have that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. That should do it. Not enough. And maybe if I move them around a little. I climb it myself, but I don't want to take all the fun away from Gladys. This place gives me. I'm ready to. This place. I'm ready. No trailer hitch on the bone wagon. This place gives me the... I'm ready to... While you have that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. That should do it. Not enough. And maybe if I move them around a little. This place gives me. I'm ready. This place. I'm ready. While you have that off, let me try moving those weights around.
Still not enough. And hey, maybe if I move the... This place... I'm ready to... While you have that off, let me try and... Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. That should do it. Not enough. And maybe if I move them around a little. Still not enough. And maybe if I move them... Can't reach. This place... I'm... This place... I'm ready to go. If I move them around a little... Thank <laughs> you. 
that shit do? Still not enough. It may be- If I move them around a little... switch with my elbow. Oh, okay. This place... I'm ready. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm gonna drive this thing all over the forest. You will once I get that two-stroke in there. <laughs> hey, while you have. Business this time, Calavera. Manny, you promise? Manny, until now we scraped along the ground like rats. But from now on, we soar like eagles. Heh. Like eagles on pogo sticks. What a relief. I was getting concerned that our transportation wasn't ostentatious enough. Get in, or are you afraid of heights? Manny, I don't know if I like this. Driving over people. They can't feel it, they're dead. What dead? I wouldn't want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aw, oh, Manny. Hello? Miss Colomar! We're here to save you! Hey, lay off the racket, the whole town's asleep. But I want a drag race! When they get a load of my car, we're gonna be the talk of the town! <laughs> You're right. We're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show. Speaking of hiding, I wonder if Mitch is here already. I'm gonna go see what I can stir up. Not a bad piece of real estate, actually. It's got potential. Watch your step around here, stranger. Rubicabe ain't the quaint little port town she used to be. Well, <laughs> looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. Well, actually, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing, or turbos? There was this one high-pitched whine it was making. Really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. Ha ha ha! That's a good one. Hola! Hey Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry dock the bone wagon for a while. Oh yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? You folks gonna stay in Rubicava for a spell? We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks or a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks. 
but it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> How do you get around here with all the mist? Well, uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea, by the sound of the lonely foghorn, by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow! Manny, could I have an eye patch? Can I just ask, what is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well, when I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. Hey, Manny, we were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. Mr. Flores, I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? Didn't you used to be taller? I'm here to reclaim that walking stick. I broke it over the head of some hideous monsters in the forest. I'm looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name, and you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone, so I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. Who are you looking for? Well, if you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she, too, was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubacava, so... I came here to wait for her. You must love her very much, Celso. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny. If she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? So, know a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. Can you get me a job here? Have any skills? Sales? Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. I'm right. I'll let you know if I see your wife. She'll be the one asking for her beloved Celso. Are you sure I can't sleep in the back? There's only room for one. Hey, how do you open these? You wait till we start serving. That's how. City, my old job. Let's hope I never have to take that road again. You sure a woman named Mercedes Colomar never came through this town? She might have. I don't know. I told you the first time, I'm no good with names. Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two. And she wasn't alone. How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. It's a tough break, Junior, but you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. 
I cracked the champagne on the bar myself. Hey, Manny! We w hey, look, I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port, and I never saw her again. What was her name? The SS La Mancha was her name, but don't make me talk about her, because I, I just can't do it. How about in the attic? That's the boss's office. You can sleep there when you're the boss. I could sleep out here on the counter. Our customers may all be dead, Manny, but we still care about hygiene. I could sleep under the sink in the kitchen. The rats would steal your toes in your sleep. Look, I need a job and I need a place to stay. I told you, you can have mine when I'm done waiting for my wife. Celso, your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. It's all in there. Oh, Manny, is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This mop at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too! Boss, you gonna come downstairs? I got a customer asking for you. You know I don't like to mingle with the customers. Well, you may want to mingle with this one. She sounds like your type. Well, looks like a quiet night in old Rubacaba. Le numéro gagnant, le 18, rouge, père et manque, 18, red. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. Le jeu, noir, pere manque, number two, two is the winner, your chips, monsieur. Oh, I thank you. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Can't. What if Mecha makes her big arrival and I sleep through it? my wartime communications from Salvador. He's been sending me messages like this for the last year. Agent Calavera, I have word that you arrived in Rubacaba safely. This is great news, as your service to the LSA may now continue. I am pleased to report the successful hatching of the eggs you liberated. The hatchlings, which Eva has named Manny and Meche, are quite healthy and eager to serve our cause. With luck, 
My next letter will be borne to you across the sky by these young gossamer wings of truth. For the revolution, Salvador Limones. I'm not done reading it yet, but maybe later. Hello, Manny. Hola. Quiet night, huh, Cardinal? Day of the dead ain't good for business, Chief. But last night, remember last night, Manny? Oh, wait! What's that you're playing? Oh, this is just a little, you know, love song for a special lady. <laughs> Sing a little bit of that song, why don't you? Well, I only have this part. Bone wagon. I like it. You think she'll come in tonight? Who, my special lady? No, Mechi. You know what, Manny? I think she will. I got a feeling tonight's the night. You know, when we leave, I'm actually gonna miss this place. Ah, oh, Manny, why can't we just stay here? We got our fancy club, we got three squares a day. Max lets me take the bone wagon out on his kitty track once a week. Plus, we look good in these clothes. Gladys, I can't live in this world forever. It's not where I belong. I've gotta find Mecha and help her, because if it weren't for me, she'd have been on that train a year ago. Okay, Manny. Well, I'll let you get back to practicing. I don't need to practice, man. I'm good. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. I have to tell you about my new organizational system for the coats. Think she'll come in tonight? Manny, you ask me that every night. What am I supposed to say? You're supposed to say, yes, I think tonight's the night. Yes, I think tonight's the night. That you finally go nuts from waiting for the grand entrance of Ms. Mercedes Colomar. Let's try that again, shall we? Think she'll come in tonight? Yes, I think tonight's definitely the night. Thank you. It's my fault she's out in the woods alone, you know. <sighs> if you say so, Manny. Bogan coming yet? Yeah, he's down in the casino, probably enjoying his usual lucky streak. How's the flow tonight? We're dead tonight, Manny. Everybody's back home for the Day of the Dead, I guess. Except for the casino. The casino's hopping. Why is it that all the people who don't go home are the same people who just love to gamble? Well, I guess when you've got nothing to go home to, you've got nothing to lose. Hey, we should put that over the door. Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything's in order. It's beautiful. I can't wait for people to come in and try the new system. It's so cool. Want to hear about it? Okay, tell me all the details about your new coat check system. Yay! Okay, I found all these plastic tiles in the back, left over from the automat, and guess what? They all have numbers on them. So what I'm doing is, I give one to everyone who checks a coat in and... Manny, you're not even listening to me. I go to all this work organizing your coats, and you don't even care. Lupe. Forget it. Don't pretend to care. No, I want to hear. Hup. Oh, I'll tell someone else about it. Someone who cares. Please, tell me all about your new coat check system, really. Don't patronize me, Cal. Okay, back to work. Okay. Mechi? Manny, help me. I've been lost for so long. Why didn't you look for me? I did. You ran off. Why? Because you said I was no good. I've been all alone in the world for a whole year. And it's all because of you! <laughs>
gonna be an annual thing with you, Manny? Every day of the dead, you toss your bones into the drink and I fish them out? I don't plan to be around that long, Velasco. As soon as I find out where that ocean liner's going, I'm after it. Ha <laughs> ha! That ship's going to Puerto Zapato. That's the other side of the world. Ain't no ships going out that way but the old limbo here, but... But nothing. If the limbo's my only hope, then I'm already on board. Well, good luck, son. That's all I got to say. All right, so I'm ready to sail. On what? On the limbo, man. Let's go. Manny, 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 the limbo's not a passenger ship. She's small cargo, son, and every hand on board works. I'll work. What are your skills? Sales and restaurant management. Oh, hey, there is one opening on the limbo's crew. Yeah? Yeah, it's in the engine room. And your buddy Glottis would be perfect for it, but he'd have to get his own tools. Okay, if I get Glottis some tools, can we board? Um, he can, yes. No offense, Manny, but there's just no place for you aboard the limbo. She's fully manned already. In fact, her whole crew is on board, ready to sail at dawn. <laughs> Except for that one guy. Who's the one guy who hasn't boarded yet? Yeah, well, Seaman Naranja's is a little late, but he'll be here before they sail. What job did Naranja have? He ran the galley. Aha, restaurant management. Yeah, it's similar to what you're doing now, <laughs> except the fish is fresher on the limbo. What if Naranja doesn't show up? I can fill his spot, right? Manny, you're not even in the Maritime Union. I know that, and you know that, but we're two guys who can keep secrets, right? Glottis is exempt, but the captain will ask for your card. And if you don't have one, they'll serve you to the sharks like chum. And what's worse, I'll get fined. That's a tough union boy, and I don't mess with them. What kind of tools does Glottis need? Authentic CB equipment only. Where do I get authentic CB equipment? Why don't you ask a CB? Afraid of getting stung? <laughs> Where do you think Naranja is? Probably home selecting recipes for the trip. What's going on in that bottle? A tugboat? This happens to be a perfect scale replica of the SS Lumbago. I'm just having a little trouble getting the walking beam to fit in the neck here. <laughs> that funny. Because a lumbago is usually more of a problem in the lower back than the neck. Yeah, mm -hmm. Nothing. So let me get this straight. If I get Gladys some tools, then I can get him a job on the limbo. And if Simon Naranja doesn't show up for work... But he will. ...and I get a Maritime Union card... Which you'll never get. ...then I can sail on the limbo in the morning. Jeez. I guess so. I'd better go finish packing. I, you do that, son. It's locked. I, it's locked. I know, I locked it. have that kind of equipment. But I'm definitely not I'm going near either on. one today. Hey! Looks like a great night for cat races. Things do look bad, but oh, okay. this chump wouldn't do the shovel. trick, unfortunately. Hello? Oh, hi! 
Hey, betting stub, please. What? I need the betting stub for the race you're interested in. Interested in how? Interested in seeing the photo finish file for, of course. Oh, I, I don't have a betting stub. Oh, okay. Bye. Things do look better. Well, Manny Calavera, you never come up here to see me anymore. Well, I thought you could use the company with everybody gone for the Day of the Dead. In that case, Manny, why don't you stick around until six? That's when I get off. Can I try out your metal detector? What's your sudden interest in metal detectors, Manny? Just a collector. Well, I'll show it to you when I'm on break. How's that? Busy night? Hardly. Everybody's gone home for the holiday already. This place is dead, and I'm bored, Manny. Bored. When's your break? Dawn. Oh, that's too late. I'm shipping out tonight. Yeah, right. I've fallen for that line too many times. What's the shuttle waiting for? Oh, uh, they're just cleaning it, but they're very thorough. We run a tight ship here, you know. I think it's time for your break. We could slip in the back for a little drink. You can tell me all about your job, the danger, the metal detectors. That back room's all business, Manny. And so am I. What kind of business goes on back there, Carla? Strip searches. Hmm, and you don't qualify. Why don't I qualify for a strip search? Manny, I agree it would help pass the time, but we have procedures and rules here. And you never know when they're watching. I can only strip search people when a regular search turns up nothing. Hey, it's worth a try. Ooh, I love this part. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Oh, you're clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. Are you sure I can't just... Don't touch. I know that statue's supposed to mean something about justice, but I don't know. Only Police Chief Bogan knows how to get in there. Reward offered for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving area, including a large suitcase bearing the initials H.L. Late night at the morgue, isn't it, Membrio? You know I can't sleep with John Doe's on the slab, Manny. If I don't ID these rose gardens tonight, I won't be ready for the two that come in tomorrow. And before you know it, I'm up to my ass in his areas. What a sad story. These stew sprouted and no one came down to claim them? Death makes sad stories of us all. How's business? Booming, unfortunately. More crime every day. And more and more sproutings like these. Something's happening back in El Moro, I think. And its dark hand is finally reaching us here in Rubacava. 
What exactly are you looking for? I'm digging for a treasure that part of me does not wish to find. For when I uncover that sad doubloon that tells me who this poor soul is, my reward is not riches, but the chance to make a phone call and break somebody's heart. Of course, with this equipment, the search could go on for some time. Can I help? Sure. Grab hold of this leaf right here. Nanny? I can't do it. I know. I was just testing. How do you do this job? Without becoming jaded, you mean? My secret to happiness, Manuel, is that I have the heart of a 12-year-old boy. I keep it over here in a jar. Would you like to see it? No. Sorry, old coroner joke. Do you ever worry that your job is getting to you, member you? Well, forensic botany is a trying job, Manny. But have you ever spent much time here with a florist? In life, they became florists because they love flowers. But here, a flower is a symbol of pain of death within death, their conflicted feelings build and build, and eventually they become quite mad. Thanks for the tip. I guess I'll send balloon bouquets from now on. And Brio, why do you stay in town? Why don't you head off toward the Ninth Underworld? Manny, you can only search for something for so many years before you stop believing in it altogether. You don't believe in the Ninth Underworld? Why do you think we're all here in Rubakava? Because you're waiting to earn off your time where you can't afford passage or... Manny, we've given up. All of us. When you've been here long enough, you will too. Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. Hey, no. I'm trying to air it out. Hey, should I close this? No. I'm trying to air it out. Hey, should I close this? No. I'm trying to air it out. Hi, what's your name? Hey, can I borrow this book? Why? So you can freak out our plans for organizing labor and go rat us out to your pal, Chief Bogan? Hey, I'm just looking for something to read on the can, all right? No dice, Cumberbund. Hi, what's your name? Lola? What are you doing here? This crowd doesn't go much for souvenir pictures, except maybe of Lenin. Shh! Manny, I'm on a stakeout. I'm gonna prove to Maximino once and for all that Olivia's no good for him. Still hung up on Max, eh? Take my advice, Angel. Forget about him. He's a gambling racketeer. <laughs> like you. Oh, that hurts, baby. Hey, shh. Here they come. Come on, sugar. How about a kiss for the road? Oh, ick. Don't let me down, Nick. You're a lawyer. You're not supposed to have feelings. I don't, but I know a good tart when I see one. Hey! If Maximino sees that, we're going to end up in matching terracotta pots. Don't be silly. He wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. Uh... Manny, at last we're alone. Tell me, how are the bourgeoisie? Fine. How's Max? Oh, Gramps, don't start. What are you doing with a snake like Nick? I'd lay it on you, Manny, but uh, I don't think you'd get it. Messing around with your boyfriend's lawyer is pretty dangerous. Oh, 
Maybe I was wrong. You do get it. I'm a little worried about Lola. That's because she's doomed, Manny. She fell in love with Maximino. That's the one mistake I never made. You think Nick would hurt her? Only if he finds her, and take it from me. He's not good at finding things. Open mic night seems like a big hit. It always takes those timid souls a while to get up the nerve. Maybe it would help if you went up there and started things rolling. Oh, Manny, read poetry in my own club? That would be like this whole place was just a big temple set up to worship me. Oh, come. OK. Alive, we slept. Life's just some rapid eye movement in a warm, cozy bed. Buried, we wake. The flesh dream is over, Daddy, now that we're all crazy dead. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. You know, I'm thinking of buying this place. Really? I thought about buying yours for a while. But then I just decided to ask my boyfriend, Max, to buy it for me. A little dark in here, don't you think? Dark and cold, like the hearts of men. Uh... You can have it. I'm leaving town. Manny, you sound so exciting all of a sudden. Why are you leaving town? I'm chasing a woman I met once and can't forget. Well, I have a poem I wrote just for you. Pay attention, because it's pretty short. Here it goes. Ah, 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 mm. Hey, how about another poem? Okay. Ashes to ashes. To ashes, to ashes, to ashes, to ashes, to ashes, to ashes, to me. To ashes, to ashes, to ashes, to ashes. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. Mind if I go in? You don't want to go in there. I haven't cleaned up yet. Just the dab will drop you. Hey, man, you didn't see me put the secret ingredient in these coffin shooters, did you? Relax. Olivia stole the recipe from me in the first place. Yeah. She steals from the rich and gives to me to pour. I'm not gonna drink dirty hookah water, and I can't carry it with my bare hands. I'm not gonna eat off of dirty plates, and I'm not going to clean them. Not to sound like a capitalist oppressor, but I have people who do that for me now. Let the waiter clean up after himself. Let the waiter clean up after himself.
cold one, huh, Terry? Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the Union? The Union? <laughs> they don't look after us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week. On the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers, all laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. Why aren't you guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, Manny? If you want to get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues. And that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on barrel duty. Why don't you just pay the union off then? We got our pride, Manny. We're straight stingers, you know? Not to mention we just don't have any cash to spare now that we're not working. I mean, it's like a problem where, uh, uh the solution uh, makes the problem, uh, worse. Like a catch-22? Yeah, wow. I wish I knew ways like that. If the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. Since you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? Well, we sold them to feed our families. Then how are you ever gonna work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, Manny. I, I told you. You bees are being exploited. You should do something about it. Yeah, what can we do? We're just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin. Hey, can I borrow one of your union cards? What, are you kidding? You know how much I had to pay Chow Chilla Charlie to get mine? You guys know a seaman, Naranja? Nah, sea bees and sailors don't mix. But you're in the same union. Well, maybe so, but some traditions are sacred there, Manny. If the cops own the union, and gambling's in bed with the cops... Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but uh, Max Amino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in El Mero. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big laundromat, if you get my drift. I think you're just a bunch of complainers. You don't know what it's like, man. Every day we come down here, we try and make an honest living. We find out that you gotta be a crooked bee to win down here. He knocks the pollen out of you, man. He makes you weak. You bees gotta be strong. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees, they do all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled by... I mean, we should... Ah! Forget it. I'm just a dumb, hungry, out-of-work bee. It's locked, but there's nothing up there anyway. This gate only leads up to the Lombada dock, and the Lombada's gone. I've got the lumps to prove it. I've, tr I've tried. Only Gladys can get these doors open. There it is. Max's giant cat racetrack. How's a regular guy with three roulette tables supposed to compete with that?
Hello, operator? Yeah, it's me, baby. How'd you know? Hey, don't say that, sweetheart. You know I meant to stop by and... I'm more happy about leaving town every minute. Whoop! I need that. You need to hold still or I need to strap you down. Hola, Toro. Como estas? <sighs> Not now, Manny. I'm in the middle of something with Naranya here. What's that you're working on there? I told you, Calavera, not now. Looks like it hurts. I really doubt I'll be touching that anytime soon. It's empty. I need ah! You need to hold still, or I need to strap. Eh? Who is over there? It's empty. Yeah, I got to remember to get. When I am done with Naranja here, I am going to tattoo nitrogen. Freeze the bones. Less painful that way. Hey, that sounds good. I could go for that. You got plenty of painkiller in that bottle of yours, so shut up and. Whoop! I need that. You need to hold still, or I need to strap you down. Whoop! You need to hold still, or I need to strap you down. They don't have much use when they're alive, and stuff, they don't have much more. They don't have much use when they're alive. Fuchi, that smell. It's peor que la muerte. I could open it with my teeth, but I'm not that hungry. I could open. I could open. I could open. It says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty. Sorry, monsieur, but this is the elevator to the High Rollers Lounge. That's where I'm going. It is members only. You must be new. And you must have a VIP pass to come upstairs. Adieu. Anybody there? Look. I told you, we don't have any kitty hats today. What? You have to wait until Tuesday. That's kitty hat day. I don't want a kitty hat. Fine with me. Most. What's your bet then? I don't gamble. It's a conflict of interest for me. Then why did you call me down here? For the friendly conversation.
It is indeed a great day for the revolution. So please feed him some breadcrumbs and send him back quickly, so we may know that our maiden flight was a success. It says revolutionary design leaves Canages safe and smooth for Kitty. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Digging through flower beds is Membrillo's job, not mine. The can opener wouldn't work there. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. I have a note for you from Lola. Lola? Yes. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang. I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me... Here. No, no, wait. Ah, be quiet. Here it is. Wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes! But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system! Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. Okay, back to work. Okay. I just had a run-in with Domino and Meche. We're leaving town. What? What? How? Domino's got Meche. We're going after them tonight. What should I do? Just sit here until I get a boat. Sit here. Check. Okay. Sounds good. I know it. Yes, I bet... Well, maybe just a sip. Ah. Uh... Not while they're losing. Mind if I sit down, Charlie? Of course not, Manny. I, I mean, it is your club, right? Right. So what are you doing in it? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh, <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat trick for printing fake betting stops. So now I have to come here, Manny, which I love, which I love. How did you print fake betting stubs? With this. 
Isn't she beautiful? The last time I was incarcerated, I shared a cell with the most dishonest con man I ever met. He was strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. Hey, give that back to me, Manny. Maybe once you sell your bar tab, eh, Charlie? Oh, Manny. What else can you counterfeit? Nothing. Anything. So can you make passports? Manny, you still think like a living man in so many ways. No soul needs a passport. We are all citizens of the same nation, and our king rides a pale horse. So no passports? No. No, that little hologram is so tricky, you know. How about driver's licenses? Sure. Uh, just, um, give me a recent picture, 50 bucks in, uh, about two weeks, okay? Can you make reasonable union cards? Manny! Are you going to start moonlighting, or are you just looking to hang out with the sailors? Can you do it or not? Hmm... I have a deal for you. If you can retrieve my money from Maximino, I can make you president of that crooked union. I don't need to be president. And why does Max have your money? I put a whole suitcase of it up for collateral on a rather large wager last month. The race was fixed, Manny. They stole my money like common thieves. Here, take this VIP pass and use it to get into the High Rollers Lounge. They won't let me in there anymore. There should be a safe somewhere in the wine cellar, and my suitcase should be in it. And you can get me a card tonight. If you make it back, Manny, the card will be on the table. Le numéro gagnant, le 13, noir, no. apparemment. Some people say you should always walk away from the table when you're on a winning streak. Oh, yes, but I'm feeling extra lucky tonight. 13. Not while they're losing. Black. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Le numéro gagnant, le 21, rouge, entre repas. 21, red, house pays all winners, le banque paye. <coughs> Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your beds. Lola, where are you? How about another bomb? Okay, I called, I called my, my cat, cat Boney, till she, she said, said it wouldn't, wouldn't do. do. 
I said, why? She said, sister, because that's what I've been calling you. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. Hey, how about another poem? Okay. Okay, okay last, last one, one folks. folks. With bony hands, I hold my partner. On soulless feet, we cross the floor. The music stops, as if to answer. An empty knocking at the door. It seems his skin was sweet as mango when last I held him to my breast. But now, we dance this grim fandango. And will for years before we rest. That was great. Really? This time I just don't have any more. Hey, how about another poem? I'm bone dry, flesh out of poems. Just begin again at the top. They get better each time. Really? Okay. Alive, we, we slept. slept. Life's, Life's just, just some rapid, rapid eye movement. In a warm, cozy bed. Buried, we wake. wake. The flesh dream is over, daddy. Now that we're all crazy dead. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. I'm not gonna... I don't really wanna do that. Let the waiter clean up after himself. I don't really want to do that. As soon as I think of a use for stinky food waste, I'll give it a sh Of equipment. Don't have that kind of equipment. Never was that good at the high jump. Dang, these short legs. Hey, why don't you guys lend me some tools so I can help out?
surprise. Close again. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. You're clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. Are you sure I can't just... Don't touch. Things do look bad, but this jump wouldn't do the trick, unfortunately. They're locked. They're lockers! Can opener wouldn't work there. They're locked. They're locker. Are you sure I can't just don't touch? I'm sorry, monsieur, but... Here's my pass, Jean-Claude. Now shut those doors and drive. Oui, monsieur. But actually, my name is Raoul. Ten minutes to post. What are you doing? I wanted some wine. Oh, look at what a mess you have made. Get out of here! Hey, what about my vino? It's not self-serve. You'll just have to wait until I get around to it. Nick Virago, what are you doing working in the High Roller Lounge? I would think Maximino's private lawyer would have his own office. I do, but they don't serve drinks there. Got a little lipstick on you, lover boy. I already got rid of that, and I can do the same to you, Calavera. So if I were you, I'd keep my jaw shut. Nick, I need a lawyer. You get yourself in some kind of trouble, Calavera. No, we just need someone for the dunking booth over at the club. Funny guy. How's tricks, Nick? Nah. Everything all legal with the kitties? Yes, they keep themselves pretty clean. Who do you like in the fourth race? Well, there's a white-footed tabby in gate two that's looking strong, but has a slight eye infection. But you think he's gonna pull out of it and win anyway, right? No, that puss-eyed puss is going to lose, but nobody knows, and I'm going to make him mint. to tell this to someone. I hate cats. Me too, but they keep the lights on around here. Virago, I really need a lawyer. What is it this time, Calavera? Someone's claiming my roulette tables are fixed. But your roulette tables are fixed. Exactly. That's why I need a lawyer. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? Any mouthpiece will do. Then may I suggest you try the yellow pages? 
House tricks, nah. Virago, I want, is it? I'm starting a class action suit, lots of money involved. Who are you deep pocketing? What's the difference to you? They're loaded. I'll ask you again. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? An excellent lawyer. Any excellent lawyer or the best excellent lawyer. The very best is good enough for me. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer you know in all the land of the dead? Well, the best lawyer would have to be a dead lawyer. Well, that narrows it down to just about everybody here in the land of the dead. Come back when you know more about what you want. And by the way, Manny, lawyer jokes, not funny. Okay, so this lawyer, his mother, and a chicken are all in this lifeboat scene. They're getting hungry, and the chicken says, I have a gun, Manuel. Virago, I really... What is it? Actually, I'm trying to adopt Gladys. Manny, that demon is over 2,000 years older than you. Not up here, he ain't. He needs guidance. I'll ask you again. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? An excellent lawyer. Any excellent lawyer or the best excellent lawyer. The very best is good enough for me. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer you know in all the land of the dead? You are, Nick. That's right. And that's why Maximino retains me on an exclusive basis. So I'm sorry, but I don't do odd jobs. If I know Max, these will be wired to an alarm. You know me better than I thought. Hello, Maximino. Why, if it ain't Manny Calavera, come to see how the big boys play, eh, Manny? From what I can tell, they play with kitties. Kitties, roulette tables, what's the difference? They go round and round all day, and they're both more reliable when they're fixed. Am I right? You know, you got a pretty nice setup here. You got a good little club yourself, Manny. Not as nice as my girlfriend's, of course. Did you say your girlfriend? Hey, Manny. Don't pretend you don't hear the gossip. It's not a secret anymore. Olivia and I are officially an item. How's the old cat race, Max? Well, volume's pretty low. Most everybody's out of town. Tell me about it. But I've got some side businesses that help smooth over the rough spots. What kind of side businesses? <laughs> Manny, let's just say our El Mato associates appreciate our out-of-town perspective. Well, I just saw Olivia and Nick kissing. Manny, we all kiss here. We're all one big family, you know? No, I mean kissing, Max. Manny, Olivia and I are in love. Nick Virago's been my trusted counsel for years. You shouldn't even joke around about their character like that. It could make me very angry. I'm here for Charlie's money. <laughs> 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 no, seriously. He says you have a lot of it. Oh, I got a lot of it, but none of it's his. <laughs> Ooh. I like the new blimp. Yeah, I decided not to let what happened to the Olivia One get me down. Imagine, you try to impress your girlfriend by building her a beautiful airship, and what happens? It goes and crashes, explodes and burns on your own track. Kills her favorite cat, too. Not the kind of thing that makes the young girl's heart score flutter. I'll tell you that, Toys. Your new waiter's got quite an attitude, even for a snooty waiter type. Hey, Manny, when you put labels like that on people, it's like you stick people in these little boxes and never let them out. We're all in little boxes back home, Max. 
six feet under. Now you're talking like the town corner, Manny. Cut it out. I'm leaving town tonight. That's great, Manuel. No one needs a vacation more than you. Get out of town. Forget about that Meche woman. I'm not joking. That's enough, Calavera. I mean it. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about something we can agree about. Well, I'll let you get back to staring out the window. Just can't get enough of my cats. How's tricks, Nick? Yeah. Nice talking with you, Nick. Been a slice. Good? Busy as ever, I see. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like a turkey baster. Looks like cans of some sort of canned meat. Oh, I really hope this isn't where the old race cats end up. I don't need any cat meat. I don't need any. I don't need any cat meat. I don't need any. I don't. I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do that. Wake up, is it? Hey! I'm trying to get some sleep over here. Sorry, don't mind me. Just passing through. To where? The elevator. Doubt it. Going down? Probably. Later. Can't I go down to the cellar? It's a wine cellar. Wine goes down there. Maybe you could take me down now. Oh, yeah. I could take you down, but I can't eat customers anymore. No, down in the elevator. I want to go down in the elevator. That's true. They wouldn't see me hit you in there, but I still get in trouble. Why can't you hit customers anymore? Exactly. It makes no sense. Just open the elevator door. Then they really see us fighting. I don't want to fight. I just want to use the elevator. Chicken. How about a bribe? Look at me! What can you give to a guy who has everything? Hey, let's beat up that waiter. Not a bad idea. But he's new. Give him a break. Okay. Nighty-night. <sighs> hey! I'm trying to get some sleep over here. Okay. Nighty-night. <sighs> Busy as ever, I see. Hmm. I don't really want to do that.
Things do look bad, but this jump wouldn't do the trick, unfortunately. Hello? Oh, hi! Betting stub, please. Oh, I, I don't have a betting stub. Oh, okay. Bye. Looks like a turkey baster. Manuel, I am sorry to hear that you have not heard. You must be if it is meant to be. Ha! Ah. He still thinks I'm in love with her. Manuel, we have found that using the computer. His name wants a small. Watch out for the name Hector Limans, Manuel. And be careful. It says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for Kitty. Me and this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. The VIP pass or the High Rollers Lounge that chop. Ah, Marillo de Oro. A very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Looks like a turkey baster. Only Police Chief Bogan knows how to get in there. The can opener wouldn't work there. Reward offered for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving area, including a large suitcase bearing the initials H.L. be a statue of a famous Olympic gymnast, I guess. It only goes to the land of the living, and there's nothing for me there. It only goes to the land of the living, and there's nothing for me there. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Oh, you're clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. It's locked.
Check out this fancy pass to the High Rollers Lounge. Can you believe how full of themselves they are over there? I don't think their place is any more VIP than ours, do you? I don't know. I, I try to stay away from th that place. Really? Why? Because of my, my, my problem. Gladys? Compadre? Meche. Whoo, yeah. Ooh, ooh, meche. Whoo, yeah. You like gambling so much, Gladys. Well, the doctors made me promise I wouldn't do it anymore. But they can't get in the high rollers loud, Doc, can they? Run! Coming home soon? Shh! I'm visualizing. What's that? Coming home soon? What did you say, little kitty? Don't talk, kitty cat. Just run, baby! Come Coming on. home soon? What did you say, little don't? Go, kitty! Pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad. Get that mouse! How's tricks, Nick? Yeah. Nice talking with you, Nick. Been a slice.
Wake up, Izzy! Hey! I'm trying to get some sleep over here! Sorry about my friend. I'll get him out of here if you want. Who? Oh, Gladys? He's alright. He's just got to pace himself. I can barely get any sleep between changing casks for him. Okay. Nighty night. <sighs> I don't need any cat meat. I told you to stay out of here. I wouldn't have to come in here if the service were a little faster. <clears throat> Open it up on the straightaways, Kitty! Me and this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. Looks like a turkey baster. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Good kitty. How's tricks, Nick? Yeah. Virago, I really need a lawyer. Well, my dance card is full. So what are you gonna do? Oh, for crying out loud! Get that mouth! I'll ask Max if I can borrow you. He doesn't like sharing his counsel any more than he likes sharing his girlfriend. So don't bother. I could tell Max about you and Olivia. That sort of claim could send a man like Max into quite a rage, especially if the messenger had no proof. Max and I are friends. He'll believe me. People believe what they want to believe, Calavera. And I want to believe you're a smart man who doesn't go around spreading dangerous rumors. I've got to talk to Max for a moment. When I get back, I hope you're gone, because I'm sick of looking at you. Man, this is gonna get me in trouble. There's something rattling inside. Must be in a hidden compartment somewhere, but I don't see a latch or anything. I don't think that would get me the key. You can do it! I don't think that would get me the key. Yeah! Uh, can't open the part that I think has the key in it. Open the part that I think has the key in it. I don't think that would get me the key. I don't think that would get me the key. <laughs> I can't open the part that I think has the key in it. That would get me the key. What's that? Almost there. What's what's what? Anybody there? I told you, we don't give out the kitty hats till Tuesday! <laughs> I 
I'm keeping this little gold mine to myself. Very fine li- Well, maybe just a sip. <sighs> Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. You sure you're not packing anything else? Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. Rules are rules. And of course, with my dad being in the military, we moved around a lot. Mm -hmm. I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. I myself never really cared for figs. I always liked dates more. Or prunes. Don't you just love prunes? They have such a great texture. They're all wrinkled up like my Grandma Hedwig's face. Oh, <laughs> poor Grandma Hedwig. She was always forgetting things. I remember one time back when I was six. Or maybe I was seven. No, 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 no. I had to be six because Mr. Rufus was still alive. Now there was a good dog, Mr. Rufus. He was such a sweet little puppy. We didn't care that he was deaf. He was as deaf as they come, but he'd still try to bark. And it would come out sounding like a cat coughing up a hairball, which our cat often did. He had such long hair. I don't really like long-haired cats, do you, Manny? They're just so... I like short-haired cats. They seem less stuck up. People think I'm stuck up sometimes, believe it or not. No, 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 they really do. I don't know why. I guess it's because I'm so shy. I was shy all the way through high school. I never went to a single dance. Can you believe it? <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong, the boys would ask, but... I'd just run away. My mom said I could have been homecoming queen if I'd just smile once in a while. She always said, a smile is the most important part of any outfit. Well, maybe I would have smiled more, Mom, if you hadn't drank so much. Was I supposed to smile when the cops called us in the middle of the night to tell us to come get you out of the drunk tank? Maybe if I had smiled more, Daddy wouldn't have left us. We'd be together right now, you, me, Daddy, and Grandma Hedwig, and Mr. Rufus. And I'd be wearing my homecoming queen crown and eating figs and... And... And I'd... Oh, Mother! <laughs> I'm so sorry! <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha
back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? Yes. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Colomar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. They're locked. They're lockers. It's locked. You wouldn't happen to have a second metal detector around here, would you? Ugh. Bye, Carla. Drop dead! Well, that's the hole I saw Carla's metal detector fall through. Oh, no. I could open it with my teeth, but I'm not that hungry. Tempting as it is, I just can't bring myself to jump in the giant unclean kitty litter. Now it smells like a giant cat litter box and some sort of gelatinous demon mystery meat product in here. It's already open. I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do that. I'm not going in there. They don't have much use when they're alive, and stuff, they don't have much more. My sight. My sight. My sight. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to. My 
my scythe. My scythe. Stinky, but it could be worse. Hmm, I think it's just picking up my blade. Hmm, I think it's just pick. Hmm. Hmm. I think it's just... Hmm, I think... Dear friend, our movement, much of it, in light of I, you are a great ally in this noble revolution. What are these? Who is Salvador Lemones? Olivia. What kind of revolutionary are you? Who said I was a revolutionary? Still, I should study up. It could impress the customers. Great news. We've discovered and we don't know just but to sell. Manuel, I am troubled by reports of it. It is not this world but the next in which our true glory. I just got this one today. Beware, Manuel. For you are in grave danger. Somehow rumor has spiffed you must be out. I think he's exaggerating the danger a little, but I do feel pretty stupid for putting my name on the big sign. Agent Calavera, I have word that you this is great. I am pleased hatchling with luck or the revolution. Salvador Calavera, it is indeed say oh please. Manuel, I am sorry to hear you must be if it ah, he still thinks I'm in love with her. Manuel, we are using the, his name once us. Watch out for the name Hector Limans, Manuel. And be careful. Dear friend, our movement now has true momentum. And our not much of this is due to our communications and in light of your contributions, I, Salvador Limones of the Lost Souls Alive, you are a great app. Mind if I go in? You don't want to go. I haven't... Hey, can I borrow this book? No dice, Cumberbund. Hey, no dice, Cumberbund. Great news. We just we don't know how to just by to sell it. Manuel, it's f it's not this world. I just got this one today. Beware, Manuel. Somehow, if you must be out, I think. It Hey, no duck. But 
Don't you see? When the government fades away, so will our troubles. Ah, nonsense. We will always need some armed force to fight off the return of capitalism. That sort of fascist thinking is as dead as you are, comrade. When we get rid of all the guns, that's when people will begin to self-police. And the public opinion alone will keep them from committing crimes. Hola, trust funders. Hey, look who's making the scene. It's Manny Calavera, the up, the down, the backside of the nouveau riche. Be it, dinner jacket. We're talking about things you wouldn't understand, like truth and beauty. Hey, can I borrow this book? No dice, cummerbund. Buenas noches, comrades. What makes you guys think I'm so establishment? You smell like bacon and oppression, man. Okay. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? Salvador Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you. Manuel Calavera? A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. Would you cats mind if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. Labor Organization and Revolt Made Easy. Chapter 1. The workers shall control the means of production. Ooh, better not show that to Glottis. Looks pretty dry. I'll save it for tonight when I'm trying to get some sleep. I don't really want to do... What's that? I don't know. I found it under your desk. Unattended? No, there was a shifty looking guy with crazy eyes who put it there. Oh my god. Give me that! It's a bomb! Another senseless act of terrorism nipped in the bud by security officer Carla. Wow. It was completely destroyed by our own detonator, so I can't tell what kind of bomb it was. But here's something. A key? I better bring that to Chief Bogan. Yeah, you can analyze it with your metal detector.
mouse! Run! I told you... I wouldn't have to come in here if the service world... <clears> hmm. <throat> Pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad. That's a good cat. This is it. Come on, baby needs a new pair of glasses. Run. Come on. Not picking that up. I don't need any... I don't need any cat meat. I don't need any cat meat. I don't need any... I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do that. The can opener wouldn't work there. The can opener wouldn't work there. The can opener wouldn't work there. I don't need any cap. Wake up as- Hey! I'm trying to get some sleep over here! Okay. Nighty-night. <sighs> He doesn't work there. I don't really want to do that. That ought to keep the food from getting away. running there ragged. Oh, but monsieur, je suis très désolé. There are no guests allowed in the kitchen. I must ask you to leave. In a minute, Leroy. Raoul. Oh, monsieur. Merci. Hello? Hello out there? Could somebody please open the door? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I seem to have uh, locked myself in this teeny tiny room. I am actually very close to a phobic, so if somebody, uh, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît, oh, let me out of here immediately. Oh, oh, oh. oh, for crying out loud! Hey, I'm thirsty. Where's that waiter? That does it.
Mmm, fruity, but voluminous. Nothing. Nah, if I let that waiter out now, he'd have me eight balled from the club. There's no opening up here. on the job. Ah, it's empty. Ah. Ruben! Where are you? Aha! Oh, mon dieu! Take a little nap. A vu, eh? Well, le keg is le empty, so toot sweet, Buster. Yes, monsieur. Merci anything you say. Et oh, no wine. Oh, I'm going to foul him for ignoring my pleas, and then I believe I shall quit. Oh, I can never look at that pantry again. No man should ever be locked up in such a small, dark place.
that crack? Double end tickets. This could get a hundred souls on the number nine train. Something's not right about this. I get the feeling this suitcase belongs to someone more important than Chow Chilla Charlie. All right, Manny. Give me the case. Charles, I thought we had a bargain. No, we do. But I thought I'd bring some muscle along, just in case. What's the matter, Chuck? Can't afford to hire goons to do this sort of work for you? I'm all the goon I need. Now drop it! You said it, boss. Got a card for me? Here. Welcome to the Union, Manny. Meetings first Tuesday of every month, and, uh... Don't forget to pay your dues. Don't forget to pay my dues. <laughs> What's the buzz, boys? It's bad down here, Manny. It's like it's like we want to control the means of, of like uh, things and stuff. You know? You bees gotta be strong. Easy for you to say, Topsider. I'm not using my union card for anything but getting on that boat. I think these are the words you're looking for. The workers shall control the means of production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploiting working class? I say we fight back! Hmm, what's this? Maybe a bee agitator? I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who makes the honey around here! You know, I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Batty! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Logan, that's gonna make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. You may not 
want to see me like this. Lola, did Nick do this to you? Yeah, he wanted that picture real bad, but he's never gonna find it, that fink. I'll get him, Lola. I'll show Max the picture for you and fix Nick for good. Just tell me where you hid it. Oh, Manny, it's all my fault. Always falling for the wrong guys. You know, I even had a thing for you once. But you were so hung up on that Meche woman, I, I figured I didn't have a chance. Lola, where's the picture? Tell me, Manny, when I've had a chance? Never mind. You just want Olivia for me. Tell her to improve her taste in men, or she'll end up just like me. Tell her to get a nice guy, Manny. Like you. Lola! Lola! Hey, there's a picture of a tongue on it, and it says number 22, Lengua. With what? Check five dollars. <laughs> Me and them fuck your bell puff. Hey, there's a picture of a tongue on it, and it says number twenty two, Lengua. I go in? You don't want to go in there. I haven't cleaned up yet. I'm not gonna drink dirty hookah water, and I can't carry it with my bare hands. empty. Nah, he'd see me do it. I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do Who is 
over there. Look, you broke it! Now it won't shut! Nemozogia, hold still! What are you, dead? Ah, Keifa, wake up! I don't work on drunks! Resek Chavargo, what kind of sailor are you? Can't handle booze, huh? What you tell us gonna know what anger at the name folks give is at me? The tell you I shan't belong to watch you. Well, let's go. Toto, I got your boy Naranya here. M.I.A. here. Well, he sobered up. I send him to Limbo. Yeah, yeah. He'll make it there by morning. Promise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what let's I told him. Let's see what them. you got on you, huh, sailor? Are you kidding me? Anselmo Naranja Ensign Third Class. Doesn't look like you'll be showing up to work in the morning. I no, gave I him the idea in first place. I already searched him pretty thoroughly. Ah, Tiger can't change his stripes. So, you still going? Hey! Velasco! Manny, do you mind? Artist at work here, eh? Hey, listen to me. You've got to take care of yourself. Ah, uh, hang on a second. No, no, what are you thinking? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. Okay, back to work. Okay. Hey, this is a card for my new coat check system. You do care. Can I have my coat, please? You bet. This is so exciting. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Twenty-two, twenty-two, twenty-two. Lengua, lengua, lengua. Ha! Here it is. Oh, darn. What's wrong? Just shoot me. Lupe, what is it? This can't be yours. That's it. Thanks. What are you doing with a tiny girl jacket? I don't suppose there was a camera back there anywhere. Uh, no. She must have hidden that somewhere else. Uh, I I'll tell you tomorrow. It's Lola's jacket. Poor Lola. If I only had her camera or that film, I could really get Nick. There's a little slip of paper in one of the pockets. All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? Thirty-six? That number's not even part of my system, Manny. And I don't think I'd let somebody check an old rusty anchor back here anyway.
I don't think that would shed any light on things. Would a metal detector help the cause? Hey, just like downtown. You never know what this'll turn up. An engraved ring, a belt buckle with somebody's name on it. <laughs> Who would wear a belt buckle with the... Oh. Digging through flower beds is Membrillo's job, not mine. Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. Hey, should I close this? No, I'm trying to air it out. Hey, should I close this? No, I'm trying to air it out. Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. Soon? What did you say, little kitty? Don't talk, kitty cat. Just run, baby! Punch it, buddy! Go, go, go! You're doing it! All that this paper says is... Num I don't think that would shed any light on things. What is that supposed to mean? I don't think that would shed any light on things. Sure. Ah, uh, hang on a second. Reach for that again and you will pull back a stump. Sure, of course, I understand. Hey, Velasco! Manny, do you mind artist at work here, eh? Definitely. Ah, uh, hang on a second. This mean anything to you? You mean beside the song, the poem, and the bar, and the statue by that name? Sure! It is one of my most famous designs. Here, I show you. Let's see. Uh, number 30. Harmin Sedge, Harmin Sketo, Harmin... Ah, 36. Here. Hey, what is this? Hmm. 
My friend Lola left that here for me. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Lola was here, sweet girl, like daughter to me. Tell her Papa Toto says hello. Right. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Looks like these cats are almost scruff and scruff. Barb. Digging through flower. Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. It looks like I've got one of your boys down here in the morgue. A sailor by the name of... Naranja. What? How? Sprouted? But... Ah, oh, this town's going to hell. Sailor can't even take a two-day shore leave without watching his back. Yeah, yeah, I'll come down in the morning. All day long, Manny, I sought through pure sadness. I find evidence, and I piece together stories. But none of my stories end well. They all end here. And the moral of every story is the same. We may have years, we may have hours, but sooner or later, we push up flowers.
ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. Me and this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. Me and this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. Me and this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. Me and this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. Me and this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. Me and this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. I'm keep... Me and this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. Me and this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. Hello? Oh, hi! Betting stop, please. Here you go. Hey, this looks different than our usual ticket. Well, that's because it's from uh, last season. All right, just a second. <laughs> there you are. Aha. What? Are you a winner? Big winner. Thanks, pal. Glad I could help. Things do look bad, but this chump wouldn't do the... It's Lola's last work, a juicy photo of Nick and Olivia kissing. It's Lola's jacket. It's Lola's last work, a juicy photo of Nick and Olivia kissing. I think that guy was up to something. Don't you, Doug? Doug? Who? Oh, that guy? Personally, I think he was nuts! Puss, 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 puss. Come on! Baby needs a new pair of glass packs! Look what I found at the photo finish booth. Looks like Naughty Kitten and Bad Tomcat are neck and neck. What do you want? I want to tell you a sad story of a young man unjustly imprisoned merely for speaking his mind. It's time to shake up the hive! I guess our business is settled. Almost. What? Was that for the photo, girl? No, that was just for being you. I don't have time to get you for Lola, but I'm sure somebody will. You didn't have time to save her either, but don't feel too bad about that, Manny. I hear saving women really isn't your forte.
and gentlemen, you You can do it! You're doing it! Puss, 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 puss! Coming home soon? What did you say, little kitty? Don't talk, kitty cat. Just run, baby! You got it! That's the sugar bubble! I'm not I... using my union card for anything but getting on that boat. Pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad. Puss, puss, puss! Le numéro gagnant, le 32, rouge, Peripaz, 32, red. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. Fourteen is the winner. Le 14. Numero 14 est la gagnant. I think you mean two. Am I correct? Uh, no, monsieur. Fourteen is the winner. I think you've made a mistake. I'm sorry, sir. Fourteen is the winning number. Better luck next time, eh? That does it! That Calavera is getting too big for his britches. I don't like raiding businesses and shutting them down. But someone's got to teach Manuel a lesson in law and order. This way, back here. Open those paddy wagons up and start filling them. And somebody find Calavera. I want to interrogate him personally. Raided? How long are they going to close it for? Huh? Yeah, you better cut off the big guy's credit then. Yeah, yeah. Throw the drunk out on his big orange butt and bring me Calavera so we can talk about his debt. Hey, come on! You gotta let me back in! I'm a VIP! Does that stand for very inebriated pianist? Oh, many. I don't want to be a pianist anymore. I'm a mechanic. I know. That's why I got you a new job. Come on, let's go pick up your tools. And I can do whatever I want to the engine? Make it faster? Sure, but you'll be plenty busy just keeping her afloat. Thanks for the gig. 
and for not asking too many questions. Hell, after what happened in Naranja, I can see why you'd leave town. Let's just hope I don't have to go fishing you out of the drink again. I'll stay under next time, I promise. Captain Calavera? Puerto Zapato, sailor. We're here at last. Beautiful port, isn't she? Yes, sir. Well, there's some customs officials down below, sir. They want to search the ship. Fine, fine. We've got nothing to hide, eh? No skeletons in our closet. <laughs> yes, sir. Secure the bow, boys. Like a rock this time. Manuel. Salvador? I hope this very urgent message gets to you in time. Our man in Zapato says Miss Colomar never made it to the port. It said she threw herself overboard at the Pearl. I don't know if you believe that. Whatever you do, do not land in Puerto Zapato. It's a trap. Assassins will attempt to board your ship disguised as customs agents. Beware, and viva la revolución! I led you into trouble, sailor. <laughs> this can't be happening. Hey, he's back here. Sack him. Custom officials, open this door! Yeah, we wanna check your bags. Don't worry, Captain. We're safe in here. Okay, let's just set the explosives and get the hell out of here. Can't reach. Looks like the anchor's down.
Can't reach. find an actual rusty anchor. It says, inspected by number 36? Oh, sure. Now I find an actual rusty anchor. It says, inspected by number 36? It says, down. Looks like the anchor's down. It would probably be easier to raise it with the motor. Can't reach. Do something. Okay. Gladys, do something. Okay.
there you go. Can't reach. They're locked together like plastic monkeys from a barrel. The best way to use this engine would be the controls over there, as opposed to the hands-on method. Gladys, cover your ears. What was that? The dotted line, buddy. If I mess with these anchors anymore, we might go down with the ship. Can't reach. If I mess with these anchors anymore, we might go down with the ship. Snap out of it, sailor. Easy for you to say, you don't have lungs. Hey, you live without your heart once, so you can live without air for a little while. Just until I figure out what we're gonna do. You all right? I'm a spirit of the land, Manny, not of the sea. Hang in there, Mano. Beware, brave captain. Here in the darkest depths of the Sea of Lament dwell the most horrible monsters of all. The fearsome, murky demons of the deep will swallow you whole the instant you leave this pool of light. Heed my warning, or take one step forward and learn for yourself! All right, all right, I believe you. Just quit it with the creepy spirit of the land voice, huh? I definitely go. Yeah, here comes one now. Okay, that might not. I definitely go over there first chance I get, but there's a lot of dark water between here and there. I definitely go. I definitely. Definitely go. I definitely. 
According to our map, I think that's the pearl. I definitely... My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart... I don't want to mess up my blade. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart... That soul... My scythe. My scythe. Right? Not of this. Hang in there. Oh, I think her days of use are over. Hey, sorry. to our map, I think that's the pearl. Another shipwreck. You see? That's why I never travel by boat. We've had a little accident. Think you could help us out? Depends on what kind of help you're looking for. Could you take us to the Pearl? Ha! You don't believe those old stories, do you? You think somewhere in this ocean there's a gigantic pearl that shines so brightly it can be seen from passing ships? And that sometimes sailors so allured by its luster actually fling themselves overboard to dive for it and are never heard from again? Yeah, and I think it's right over... Bah! I've been walking this ocean for years. I ain't never seen it. Really? The pearl is right over there. You poor sucker! That's the moon! Tell me you didn't come all this way out here to pearl dive the moon! <laughs> Could we tag along with you? Well, it's a long walk you're talking about. We don't have any other choice. Oh, all right then. Lift those knees, stick close to my light, and try to sing in key. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Scare away sea monsters. Yeah, I'm gonna let it shine. Scare away sea monsters. Yeah, I'm gonna let it shine. Scare away sea monsters. Yeah, I'm gonna let it shine. 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 I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine.
thought that looked like our ship. That's just a trick the ocean plays on your mind, kid. Makes everything look the same after a while, like he was going in circles. Well, this isn't the kind of progress I was hoping for. Oh, well, the wet march of the soul ain't for everybody. What are you doing down here? Trying to get out of the land of the dead, same as everybody else. Why are you walking instead of taking a ship? Got sick of waiting around Rubicava for a boat. Figured I'd make better time this way. Why didn't I think of that? How do you know where you're going? See the moon over there? I just keep it on my right. That way I know I'm heading in a straight line. But oldest trick in the book. Is everything okay with your eyebrows? Them is barnacles, genius. I don't move fast enough to shake them, so they tend to pile up. I don't mind, though. They're the only company I got. <laughs> Ain't you, boys? How long have you been down here? Well, let me put it this way. I wasn't always this color. Shouldn't you have hit dry land by now? I'm trying to cross a big ocean here, Sonny. What do you know about it? I've already done it. In a boat. A boat? Don't talk to me about boats. What's the problem with boats? We had such a nice boat. Why is everybody always talking about boats? You got a perfectly good pair of legs. Why not use them, I say? Let me guess. You died in a boat wreck. A boat wreck would have been better than what happened to us. Led off course by bad equipment, lost for weeks, no food, no shelter from the sun. We'd started throwing the dead overboard. But then the sharks began following the boat. What happened in the end? What happened was I learned three valuable lessons. Stay away from boats. When it comes to navigation, trust only the moon and the stars. And when there's only two of you left, Never, ever go to sleep. How have you kept that light going all these years? Well, I found this coral, this glow-in-the-dark coral. Damnedest thing. Glows like a lightning bug and never seems to wear out. I had some of that once. Made a nice grappling hook. I don't think you had what I got, because I don't think you've been to the place where I got it. Where'd you get the coral? Edge of the world, boy. That's the only place it grows. Could you send for help? Oh, sure. I promise to call for help at the next phone booth I walk by. Could we borrow that light for a second? Sorry, I'm kind of attached to it. <laughs> well, I don't want to break your stride there. Okay, see you around. Watch out for sea monsters. Who? These guys? Oh, they don't mess with old Chipito. I'm too bright for them. <laughs> this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hey, lay off! Let go! Let go! Let go! Get your own lamp, pal! Whatever happened to the code of the sea? You all right? I'm a spirit of the land, man. Not of... Hang in there, Manu. I'd definitely go over there first chance I get, but there's a lot of dark water between here and there. I'd definitely go...
Um, what? More survivors? I just passed another shipwreck not five minutes ago. Well, I don't want to break your stride there. Okay, see you around. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light... Hey! <laughs> What am I supposed to do with this? Follow me. Where are you taking me? To the moon. Then is that... The Pearl! Ooh! Whee! I knew I'd find her someday! I'm rich, 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 rich! Shh! Something's happening. Benny, what's going on? I don't know, but I don't like the way that thing's looking at us. There's no talking to octopuses. Hey, Chepito, go for a swim, will you? You're drawing too much attention to us. Too bad. I'm sticking to you like the barnacles on my eyebrows. So don't even think of sneaking off with my pearl. Hey, Chepito, go for a swim. You're drawing too... I'm... I'm not going down there while that... I can't get anywhere near the sub while that monster's guarding it. I'm not going down there while that monster's looking right at me. Hey, I've got more important things on my mind than jewel theory. Not me! Uh Watch those hands, clams. Hey, lay off! Oh, let go! Hey, let go! Where are you let go! You can't leave me here all alone! Come back here! She's coming back. I'm gonna sneak inside and look for Mechi. What if that octopus comes back while you're gone? Poke him in the eye and steal his sub. <laughs> Stupid octopus. Mechi. Manny, what are you doing here? I wanted to see how your trip was going, Angel. I am your travel agent, you know. By the way, thanks for that bottle of champagne you sent me. It really hit the spot. You were headed for a trap. I was trying to warn you. Domino was using me like bait. I didn't want you to end up a prisoner here like me. Prisoner? Where's your cell? Or are you just sharing a bunk with the warden? If that's what you think of me, then why did you come here? Because this is where he belongs. Here, working for me. I knew you'd come around eventually. Right or wrong, Manuel Calavera is always with the winning team, right, Manny? That's why you're here now. I'm getting off this rock, and I'm taking all of these people with me. <laughs> Manny, there's no way off this island. I'm afraid you're stuck here in my little executive training program. See, I need you to take my place here, kid. 
I've got to get back to the city where the action is. Sorry, Manny, but I had to come in. My skin was getting all pruney. Him, I don't need. <laughs> I'm gonna grind you to powder for that, cabron. Maybe later. But for now, let me just show you your new opus. Careful, BB. The new boss is waking up. No drawers. Hola, angelitos. I'll bite you, I swear to God! Please don't bite anyone else, Pugsy. That's why they put us in the cage in the first place. Why do you want to bite me? You're the mean new boss. Mr. Hurley said you were meaner than him. He said you had a bone saw. You bite me and I'll sue your parents. Our parents? Our parents? Yeah! <laughs> Children, please, stop crying. Why am I so bad at this? My name is Manny Calavera. What's yours? Mr. Hurley told us about you. You're the one who tricked Meche. Poor Meche. I didn't trick anybody. Mr. Hurley said he was supposed to take care of Meche, but you stole her case from him. Is that true? Meche's my friend. You can ask her. She talked about you before. Every time she says your name, she looks so sad. I don't know what you did to her, but you're going to be sorry! What are you two doing in this cage? Making light bulbs. Look, we're working as hard as we can. Why don't you leave us alone? Listen, children. I'm here to help. There's really not much more room in here. Your hands are too big to make light bulbs. I'm here to help you get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitchett. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. Let me see if I can explain this whole thing to you. You see, I had this job, selling travel packages to immigrant souls. If I sold enough of them, I got to leave the land of the dead. Now, I was in a slump, and I really needed a fat commission, so... You're a bad man. Go away, bad man! Yeah, go away! I'm the one who's gonna take Meche out of here. What? You can't do that. Who's gonna take care of us? We'll be all alone! You can't do we have to stay here. She'd be sometimes My hands are not too big to make light bulbs. Then why don't you help? I just don't have any of those little tiny tools, that's all. Here, take my hammer. <laughs> You know, I really do want to help. Then why don't you? On second thought, maybe I don't. We don't want to either, but we don't have a choice. Okay, back to work. So mean. My Prince Charming, are you back here just to insult me some more, or do you just want some ice for your head? <gasps> Ow! Oh, my stockings, they're ruined! And this was my best hair!
You try to have one nice thing on this cruel island. Come on, we're getting out of here. Trying to steal my commission from Domino again. Manny, don't you ever give up? I'm not after any commission. I just want to get us both out of here. Then why don't you just ask your boss for the day off? can't believe you think he's my boss. He's my arch enemy. I think he's your boss. You think he's my boyfriend. We don't seem to have a good foundation of trust in our relationship, do we? I'm sorry I implied he was your boyfriend. I do trust you. Well, I'm not sure I trust you about that. But I'll tell you one thing that would convince me. Name it. Give me your gun. What? What makes you think I have a gun? You work for the most heavily armed organization in the land of the dead. Don't try to tell me they didn't issue you a gun. I don't work for the most heavily armed organization anywhere. You know, you're right. There are those rumors of that revolutionary army that's been stockpiling weapons. Actually, them, I work for. Manny, why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? Good enough for me. What is? Oh, uh, the, um, the speed at which you're working. That's nice, Manny, but you're not my boss, so really I couldn't care less. Good. Excellent. Carry on. Sir, do you have an appointment? I'm going in there to tell Domino my demands. I don't think you fully understand the chain of command around here. Pugsy and Bibi work for you. You and I work for Domino, who works for Hector Le Mans, crime boss of El Maro. Well, I think it's time for a little corporate restructuring. Domino! Domino! Taking your first coffee break already, Calavera? We got a score to settle, Issy. You know, if I ever spoke to my boss Hector that way... How can you keep little children in a cage? Trust me, it's easier than keeping big kids in a cage. You killed my best friend. The demon? Manny, you can use a demon as a driver. Let him carry your messages, let him serve you food. But you can't ever start thinking of them as friends. It's just not natural. What are you doing out here on the edge of the world? Oh, I know. I ask myself that every day. But I'm going to train you, Manny, to take my place here running this two-bit light bulb factory. Why don't you just sprout me like you tried a Puerto Zapato? That wasn't me. That was Hector. He's so unimaginative. Just wants to tie up the loose ends, you know? But I believe, however, that you can be rehabilitated through honest work. What makes you think I'm gonna work for you? Well, there's not much to do on this island if you don't work, take it from me. And think about it. Once I'm gone, it will be just you and Meche alone on this deserted island. Don't tell me that prospect doesn't appeal to you. I don't plan to be on this island for very long. Manny, I have all the guns, I have all the transportation, and I have all the brains. What are you gonna do? Nice island you got here. Yeah, the previous owners didn't know what they had here. Let us pick it up for a song. They scooped out all the coral they could reach with their crane and then abandoned the plant. But we knew we had what it would take to go the extra distance to the big reef. Are you about to lecture me about the winning attitude again? No! Slave labor, Manny. That's the real ticket to success. You and Hector set up a secret hideout to make light bulbs? Oh, no, that's just a side benefit. The real purpose is to have a place we can lock up all those old clients of mine. Can't have good people wandering loose in the land of the dead telling everybody how we stole their double-end tickets, now can we? You stole all these people's tickets? Okay, how much of this haven't you figured out, Calavera? Kapal would root all the good clients to me after he switched over their tickets to a secret holding fund. I'd cover up the paper trail, and we'd make sure that the pigeon jumped overboard at the pearl. I knew it! You were getting all the good clients. I handled them all, except for Mercedes, who you hijacked for me in that ridiculous hot rod, which I saw, by the way, last time I was in Rubicava. I tell you, Manny, hot rods like that just don't look safe to me. 
so it wasn't my fault Mecha didn't get a ticket. You stole it. Well, it's your fault she ended up in the forest instead of coming here right away, but I fixed that. I'm taking Mecha out of this dungeon. Manny, before I found her, she spent a year out there in the petrified forest alone because of you. By comparison, I'd say I'm keeping her pretty comfortable here in my uh, dungeon, wouldn't you say? One ticket for you, one for Hector. How many more do you need? Oh, Manny, we never touch the product ourselves. We sell a ticket to unfortunate souls, unable to lead moral lives because of the crippling amount of cash they were born into. But you could just take the tickets and leave today. We found a way to make the land of the dead livable. Why would we want to leave? Well, I gotta get back to trying to escape. <laughs> hey, you do that, kid. Knock yourself out. Soon. We, we are done traveling together. I work solo, my friend, and I walk alone. Nice drill. Drill? This here is a cordless high-speed reciprocating chisel. And look, it's a bust all. They usually don't give these to the new guys. How'd you get a bus stop? I'm connected, plugged in, and I had some booty to trade. Trade's the name of the game out here in the Big Reef. Booty? Where'd you get booty? It's all over the ocean floor. Jewelry, precious coins, you people and your fancy boats never know about it, because you just never stop and look. Give me some booty and I'll buy our way out of here. I traded it all for this beauty. You traded jewelry and precious coins for a power tool? It's a bust all. That tool looks a little overpowered for you. Overpowered? Nothing overpowers Chapito. Well, cool. Chapito, huh? What? I want to trade something. Well, you came to the right place, Sonny. What should we need? A gun. Ooh, that's gonna cost some. What do you got on you? My turtleneck. Oh, yeah, that is nice. Acrylic? No, it's all natural. Oh, too bad. Natural fibers are so uncomfortable underwater. I know, I know. When you got something worth trading, come see old Chapito. He'll do you right. Hold still. Yo, Pito, have you ever seen an authentic little chipper? A little chipper? No, I haven't. But I'd sure love to give it a test drive. Say, hey, little chipper, you're okay. Yo, do. Hey, Chippy, check out the hosiery. Say, these are real silk. Where'd you find them? I've been wearing them the whole time. You too? Well then, here's your new best friend. Ah, my first Sproutella gun. Is it loaded? No. Hey, bullets are hard to get. Those poor Go people to have see been taken Miss off. Liza. It's really not much use without bullets. Here, 
What good's a relationship without trust? True. A relationship without trust is about as empty as a gun without bullets. Guess you didn't realize a smart girl always keeps an extra round in her hat for mad days. Come on, let's go. Mitchy, you don't know what you're... I know exactly what I'm doing. Now move! Would you just listen to my escape plan first? Trouble in paradise, kids. You're letting us go right now, or your boy Friday here gets it. Well, I hate to see you go, Manny, but uh, the lady seems to have made up her mind. I'm serious. I'll shoot him. Fine. He really doesn't work for me anyway. But I thought he... I'll shoot you then. No, you won't. You're too good, remember? I'm not. I'm not good anymore. You've taken that out of me, keeping me a prisoner here. I'm gonna crack you open like a fake wing boss. I'm gonna... <sighs> Kid's all right. <laughs> She's a firecracker. But a night in the cooler usually dampens her fuse. Domino! Hey, sport. How's the uh, escape going? What did you do with her? I thought she needed a little, uh, time out, that's all. Well, I gotta get back to trying to escape. <laughs> hey, you do that, kid. Knock yourself out. It's me, Meche! I'm warning... This isn't funny! I think I promise I won't pull guns on anyone anymore. It's not a handheld device. I can see why they don't give these chisels to the new guys. Get out of here. There's no ladder.
the edges I want to be. Gladys! You're okay. Well, it hurt a little when I hit, but my head cracked open an aft panel here. I gotta tell you, Carnal, I thought you were dead. Oh, Manny, I've been having a great time. Listen. I ask you, is there an engine that can resist the love that's in these hands? Apparently not. I think this baby's our ticket out of here. Oh yeah, good point. I was just wrenching her for fun, but your idea's good too. I think this baby's our ticket. Oh yeah, I was... Angelitos? Hello, Mr. Mean Boss Guy. Okay, back to work. So mean. No drawers. Good point. I was just wrenching her for fun, but your idea's good too. Thank you. 
got it to float. That was the easy part. The trick's gonna be busting through that big coral reef out there. Bust through a big coral reef, eh? Okay, give me a minute or two. Think of a way to get through that reef yet? No. Did you? No. Figuring. I don't want to bug him. He's figuring. the right combination. It's me, Meche! I'm getting... I don't want to mess up the wheel. The wheel's my friend. If I bust I'm all the handles... I'm getting angry! Then... Is there anybody out there? I don't want to bust all that. I don't want to bust all... locked. I don't want to bust all that. I've got nothing to say to him. I hadn't lost Let my union out! card in that poker game. Let me out! Open this door! I'm in here! Ah! Must have hit I a major circuit. I won't pull guns on anyone anymore! Hmm, but it looks like... I don't want to mess up the wheel. The wheel's my friend.
What? Oh, and I had them so nicely lined up and everything. All right, Mitchie, you can come out now. Mitchie? Ugh, it's a cosa is heavy. Mitchie, are you in there? It's time to come out, honey. No time for hide and seek. <laughs> They're all locked up. These must be very, very sensitive coral harvest reports. They're all locked up. They're all locked up. These must be... This must be the big chipper. Mechi, I stand it. I think that would just bring the whole ugly thing crashing down on me. Bust all my ass. Ha! Bust all my ass. I think I've tortured it enough. Uh-oh. Oh, Raul. I am so, so sorry. Mmm... No. Electrical current makes my marrow tingle. I don't think it's going to be as easy to pick from this side. Manny, I knew you would... Why is that door closed? Uh, it was the only way I, uh, uh, the wind? Oh.
Hey, this is my room. Go use up the air in your own room. What's in these cases? Take a look. It's all the double-end tickets Hector and Dama have stolen over the years. Each one stolen from a good soul, and now they just sit there. That's it. What? They just sit there. That's what's been bothering me. In the days when I was a hot salesman, I used to see double-end tickets all the time, and they move. What do you mean, they move? They become agitated around human souls, and the ticket that belongs to you will actually fly into your hand. But these tickets, and the tickets in that suitcase of Charlie's, it's like they're dead. Why would Hector and Domino be hoarding cases of counterfeit double-end tickets? I couldn't reach that vent, even if I stood on Mitch's shoulders. Wouldn't it make more sense for me to stand on your shoulders anyway? Are you kidding? Look at your heels. Thanks for not shooting me. Look, I'm sorry. I should have trusted you. It's just that the past two years have been pretty tough, you know? reach that vent. Why would Hector and Why would Hector and Dom it with that. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. My scythe. I like... I don't want to mess up my... I don't want to bust all that. I don't want to bust all that. that would just bring the whole I couldn't reach that vent I don't 
don't want to mess up my blade. Now, all we have to do is wait for the room to fill up, and we'll just float on out of here. Well, this is disappointing. Not to me. We don't float, remember? that high? You. What about the suitcases? Forget them. They're counterfeit. They wouldn't fit through this hole anyway. Let's go. Galatis, I'm so glad to see you. Aww. Is the boat all ready? Yeah, come on. Let's go eat some reef. Works like crazy. Full speed ahead. and try to get your old job again? There's no job for me now except to bring you and everyone else here to the end of the road. But if you aren't going to use me to get your job back, why did you spend all this time trying to find me? Meche, I... I needed to find you. One job, Manny! And look at you! Already screwing it up! <clears throat> I suppose you realize that this is gonna go down on your permanent record! I don't think my bare hands would be a match with that sight of his. Dom, I'm not gonna work for you. Oh, don't worry about that. You're fired. Just... <clears throat> I'm sending this domino back to the bone pile. <clears throat> Smart strategy? Always let your boss win. You know, you need the domino, but you're really just a pawn. Please, save the comic book one-liners for when you're winning. <laughs> just like with your selling, Manny, you got a weak attack and no follow-through. <laughs> Just please stay down this time. <clears throat> at least at the Christmas party, you passed out before you really got hurt. <clears throat> Had enough? Please, Manny, stop showing off for the girl. Domino's just the kind of guy to practice Oxford regulation boxing and then pull out a blade when it comes time to fight. I 
Calavera? You're losing a fight, so you pick on one of my pets? Why aren't you more like me, Manny? I've been trying to show you how, but you don't listen! If you just adopt the proper attitude, just look what could happen to you! Name? Pugsy Poligiano, sir. Hmm. Waiting room number two. Next. Glories! Glories! Is that me? Glories? Where'd you go this time? Would love these. Bruno? Bruno Martinez? You! You were the guy who packed me in there! You could have at least given me a magazine! Four years with nothing to read but this damn mug! What are you doing here? And if you were headed this way, why didn't you offer me a lift? Ah! Wait, I'm getting out of here. This world's for suckers. That's no place to put a mug. Hello? Whew. They're empty. Hello? Empty. That's the road we came in on. Nothing out there but snow and a perfectly good pair of sunglasses. Manny! What's wrong? Go up there and see! Hey, where is everybody? Waiting area two. How long do they have to wait in there? Until they have tickets. They were issued tickets on the number nine, and they don't have them now. The punishment for selling double-end tickets is very severe. But they didn't sell their tickets. Their tickets were stolen. By who? Hector Le Mans stole them to sell to rich people who don't deserve them. That might be them now. Let's see just what they deserve. That train. Your destiny cannot be purchased. I don't understand. Why has everyone been detained? Given a ticket, a soul may not sell it. They didn't sell their tickets. Someone else is trying to. Bring the tickets. That is all. The tickets are in Elmaro. How can I get there quickly? These rails are already there. Well. Thanks for the help. The gate opens. The gate closes. It does not help. Well, thanks for the help. The gate opens. The gate it does.
Hey, how'd you get free? I was born free, Boatnik. Nobody gave me no ticket, so nobody can take it away. So what are you pacing around here for? Trying to unwind a little bit. All those years circling in one direction. Gotta even out my life in this world before I go on to the next, you know? Well, that ought to do her. Goodbye, Chapito. Happy trails, Captain. And thanks for setting me straight back there in the drink. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed. No, I'm gonna let it shine. actually do it. I could walk out of this world right now and not look back, but I can't. I can't do it. I'm not leaving without the people I promised to save. I don't need a map now. I'm here. I get the feeling that operating that switch is out of my powers. That is I, the keeper of the gate. I need to go get my friends. You need to get your friends their tickets. Well, it's not that I'm afraid or anything, but there are easier ways into the station, and I'm not walking back to El Maro. march around in it like Chapito, but I think a better way to even out my life would be to go get those tickets. Recently, I was visited by a bird with a human head. Do you know such a bird, Manuel Calavera? No. How do you know my... He knew you, and for you he left this note. I think this is something I should keep to myself. I know what you're up to. I've been watching. Stay there. I'm coming to sprout you myself. Yours truly, Hector Le Mans. Híjole. I know what you're up to. I've been... Stay yours... I think this is... That's no place to put a mug. Well, thanks for the help. The gate opens. The gate closes. It does not help. Glottis. Hear the name of the Great One. Glottis. Glottis. What's happening? How many days has this grand demon gone without driving? Well, we've been hiking for months. Months? Months? Oh, then the Noble One will surely die. But... Glottis, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why 
Why didn't you tell me you were sick? Couldn't stop. Have to save everyone. Please, don't die, Gladys. The land calls back its children, Manny. Who am I to say no? Are you in much pain, my friend? Only because I let you down, Manny. What can I get you? Will anything help? I need to race to fly like, like the old days, Manny. In the bone wagon. But the bone wagon's not here, Karnal. Maybe I'll see her on the other side. Can't we make a new hot rod? Those days are done, Manny. <sighs> no more hot rod. Hey, what's that red thing? The gondola? Mm, sweet decal work. Listen, fellas, somebody, somebody get a pen. There it is. My final work, it could save me if you have the right, <coughs> the right <coughs> fuel. What fuel, Gladys? Gladys. But what fuel? Oh. Oh. It looks like blueprints for a Rocket sled, they're brilliant. It looks like blue, they're br Hey, how about a gondola ride, Gremlins? He's too big. The gondola is too slow. They lock up their tools just like Gladys. My joints don't need any oiling right now. Your mother doesn't work here. Since nobody listened to my last warning about keeping this refrigerator clean, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to lock it until some of you grow up. Signed, the facilities department. Your mother, I'm a sign. It's full of rags. I hate it when people leave their crusty mugs out in the break room. It was a good idea to have a clean rag around. Say hello, Mr. Rag. Hello, Mr. Rag. Say hello, Mr. Rag. Hello, Mr. Rag. Here, blot his forehead with this. He needs to fly, not to be dry. Sorry. I'm not in the mood to dust. I'm sure someone around here is paid to clean these. This better not stay in my pocket. I think if I made a mess, those little guys would get irritable. I think if I made a mess, those little guys would get irritable. Here, Carnal, get away for this. Make sure to lay some of those on my grave, will you, Manny? I'll oil stuff later, once Gladys is okay. 
I'm no gondola gunker upper. I think this is something I should keep to my... I think... I think that... The road we came in on, nothing out there but snow. Locked, probably to keep out the Yeti. Locked, probably to keep out the Yeti. I already got a mug full of that stuff. stuff later, once Gladys is okay. What was in that mug? Something that powerful could fuel a... A rocket. rocket! If only we had more! Well, I could score you a couple of truckloads if you're interested. We shoot you now like an arrow into the wind. May you pierce the heart of the wind itself and drink the blood of flight. Speed is the food of the great Glottis. Speed bring you life! Come back to us someday! Long gone, my friend. There's nothing here for us now. Except maybe our old car. Dios mio! She's been booby-trapped. By who? Who? I'm not setting foot down there. The slightest bump could start those dominoes tumbling. Don't panic. Gah! Manuel Calavera? Ha ha ha! Well, what happened to the limbo? Hate to tell you, Velasco, but she went down at the Pearl. But we found a new ship, the SS La Mancha, and managed to... The La Mancha? My old rusty bucket? Where is she? Oh, well... We traded her in Puerto Zapato for a team of sled dogs. That does it. I'm out of this stinking mob town. But thanks for finding my baby, Manny. Puerto Zapato, here I come. Mob town?
I would. But I hate sucking gelatin straight from the tap. Calavera, what are you doing here? I heard you went pow in Zapato, Daddy. Well, Hector Lamont's tried and missed. Now it's my turn. I'm headed to El Maro to put him out of business. Manny, that place has changed. You don't know what you're getting into. I'd better come with you. Just give me a minute to get ready. Okay, but if you hear a loud explosion anytime soon, the trip's off. Is it time to go yet? No. We're having a little car trouble. Come by when it's time. Not to sound like a capitalist oppressor, but I have people who do that for me now. As soon as I think of a use for stinky food waste, I'll give it a shot. It's locked. Maintenance has gotten pretty lax around here, apparently. It's locked, but there's nothing up there anyway. That goes to the upper dock, but nothing's docked there now. Yeah, it's me, Manny. I was just passing through town and... I kill you! Wow. Still mad. I don't want to wake up Toto. Your mother will love it. I don't want to wake up Toto. I don't want to wake up Toto. No, I don't want to disturb his grumpy will love little it. Not my fault! Never get me under that thing. There can't be too much in here. I better save it. I kill you! I don't want to wake up Toto.
Liquid nitrogen, not to be used on bone. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Looks like Domino left his calling card. But how? I saw him torn to shreds. He must have done this on his last trip through town. I'm not setting foot down there. The slightest bump could start those dominoes tumbling. I'm not setting... It would just evaporate. I stood there alone, and I thought to myself how the moon that night cast its light on my heart's true delight, and the reef where her body was strewn. Ah, not quite the same without old Velasco. Don't have that kind of equipment. Maybe I'll just finish this for him. I don't need the hernia. That's what the lumbago diorama needed. Fake ocean water. It's, uh, lumbago lemonade. Try it. Mmm. Perkly little aperitif, actually. <laughs> yes, siree. Not bad tall. <laughs> Tell me where you got that right now! Olivia's kitchen. Don't worry, this won't take long. Oh, my stomach don't stretch like it used to. Oh, Gladys. So what is that stuff they pack canned hams in anyway? <laughs> Good show, my friend. You wouldn't happen to have a breath mint on you, I suppose. The gelatin is still liquefied. It wouldn't stop the dominoes from falling. Hey, good idea! I bet I could keep it down now that it's cold. Just let me get across first, okay? Soon to be known as the Blown Wagon. Hey, that's not funny! I'd better disarm her first. I'd better disarm her first. Well, here goes nothing.
Looks like Hector's taken over the whole town. He hasn't had much resistance. There's only one small group who oppose him, and they live out on the fringes of the city. Places like this, you mean? I hope they're not hurting Gladys. Ha. Huh. Shows what you know about this group. Their leader is a great man who... Manuel Calavera, we meet again. I see you have found what you were looking for. How fortunate for you to arrive now just as we too are about to achieve success. Our army has grown, and right now our top agents are in Hector's weapons lab, about to close in on the enemy in his own den. I couldn't have done it without you, Manuel. It was a trap! Stand back. There's only one thing to do. Thank you, sir! You have saved me! But more than that, you have enabled me to continue to serve the movement! What did you say about a trap? Hector uncovered our agent in his weapons lab! No. You idiot Bowsley! Your new lab assistant is a spy! Haven't you ever heard of a background check? No time to explain. Now I'll have to take matters into my own hands. Take me with you. I've longed to be of service to your cause for years. Calling all cars. Calling all cars. Manuel, is everything okay? Uh, uh, just testing the equipment, Sal. Salvador, maybe you shouldn't shut that thing off so we can talk. I bet the agent in this photo is the poor guy that Hector just shot. Come here, little manny. Hey, must be a little Meche. Hector, I almost have that new bouquet of tulips ready for you. Listen to me once and for all, Palsley. You are not a florist! You are a manufacturer of weapons! But I... Any messages for me? No, nope. call stopped coming for you the day you left. They're still <laughs> sending you that lingerie catalog, though. Memo to all agents, priority urgent. In light of the recent disappearances, all agents are ordered to avoid travel in unlit areas until further notice. Better save this part from sprouting. No, it might come in handy. <laughs> Okay, here's the plan. I need a disguise so I can get close to Hector. And a gun, so we'll have something to talk about when I get there. If you figure out that part, I'll go find out where he is. His casino tower is directly above these headquarters. All right, meet me there. Volunteers quickly for dangerous work. She could be very useful to the cause. As far as I'm concerned, she is the cause. Not right now. Not right now. Figure out some way to disguise this pretty face before I hit the streets.
It's not like Johnny Thunderlets just anybody in his review. No. I mean, being allowed to wear the Johnny Thunder makeup is an honor. Yes. A privilege. Yes. So I said to her, you give me that 10% discount or I'm... You said that? Well, oh yes, I was mad, you know. And, and then what? Mmm, show business coffee. A real amateur? I don't see any place to serve coffee here. Oh, coffee. About time we got a PA around here. Hey, kid, keep it black and keep it coming, all right? Too hot for my pockets, thank you. And the director says... Uh -huh. uh. Yes, I am. Oh, that's too bad. Because we just got the last two parts. Maybe next season. <laughs> <laughs> really? Hey, get lost, pal. No autographs. Of course, as soon as I save up enough money for a double-end ticket, I'm out of here. What? You can't just buy a double-end? Well, I know somebody who knows somebody who knows uh, Hector Lamas. Wow, you know everybody. No kidding. So then I says... Hey, out of the dressing room. We got all the Thunder Boys we yeah. need. Hey, out of the dressing room. Whatever you are. Okay, I don't know what's down there, but I have issues with it. How about this one? Anyone down here? Monsters? Again? Can anyone hear me besides the scary monster? Dang. Thank you, sir. I think that would be disrespectful. I think that would be disrespectful. I think that would be disrespectful. Thank you, sir. I think that would be disrespectful. Out of the way! Go to sleep, soothing. thing. Close your big clear blind eyes.
There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. There can't be too... I'd better save it. I think that would be disrespectful. I think that would be disrespectful. I think that would be... That's no way to treat an agent of the LSA. Hey, no autographs. That's no way to treat an agent. No autographs. Hey, get lost, pal. No autographs. I don't see any place to serve coffee here. A little too hot for my pockets, thank you. I don't see any place. Oh, coffee, great. It's about time. You do say. Oh, coffee. Thanks. I am not kidding. I don't see any place to serve coffee here. A little too hot for my pockets, yeah. thank you. That ladder is a little too long to but climb with so. scalding hot coffee in my hands. A real amateur? And then what? So I said... Oh, what did you do that for? I didn't, I... You melted my makeup. I can't go on like this. I took you under my wing, and this is how you pay me back. No, no, it's not like that. A little too hot for my... I don't see any place to serve coffee here. I don't see any place to serve coffee here. Hey kid, this is your lucky day. We got an opening and you're the newest Thunder Boy in the Johnny Thunder Review. Yes, I've been working for this moment all my life. Then sit on down, we gotta start your makeup. Now don't go too far, you never know what time is showtime around here. This snowmaker is huge, but the grinder part looks handheld. Aha! Uh -huh. It's a handheld grinder. This snowmaker is huge. I think he'd be happy to know his body was serving the cause like this. I would, but it's full. This lever is attached to the fake snow supply. I would, but it's full.
Is it showtime yet? Ah, Johnny Thunder still hasn't rolled in yet. You know these prima donna crooners. Hey, you're talking about Johnny Thunder. Sorry. Alivio. I can't remember the last time I had access to a men's room. Hey, what's going on under that raincoat? I don't know what's going on under that makeup. Agent Calavera! You? Didn't Salvador chop you in half early this evening? Yes, which has given me this glorious opportunity to serve the cause by gathering funds for the LSA while stealing from our arch enemy at the same time. Hola. No drinks for me, thanks. Hola. No drinks for me, thanks. Buenos dias. Back off, please, baller. My husband here will bust your jaw. Hola. No drinks for me, thanks. I think this is something I should keep to myself. That's no way to treat an agent of the... That's no way to treat an agent of the LSA. I can't go strolling through the halls now. I'm on the lamp. Going up? This elevator goes up straight to the penthouse suite of Hector Lamans. Mr. Lamans, he only do the business with the very select elite clientele. I'm select, and I'm very elite. You look like you work in a meat locker to me, pal. These aren't my regular clothes. Well, when you get your regular clothes, I'll give you the regular treatment. Out of my way. I'm in show business. What show? You can follies? It's no way to treat an agent of the LSA. No way to treat an I wonder if she's intrigued by my new jaw. That's no way to treat an I wonder if she's intrigued by my new jaw. That's no way to
Mechi, it's me. Lanny? That's some costume. Here, help me get Mr. High Roller here into this sheet so we can get out of here. Hey, is that you, young lady? I'll get you. I'm going to punch uh, this twerp the first chance I get. Uh, young lady. Hey, these work without money. Help. Maybe Hector's not all that bad. Ah, I knew it. They're all oh, fixed. Fuck. Not funny. Hey! You must be patient, my kitten. Uh, I'll escort you to your party just as soon as my system pays off here. Hola. No drinks for me, thanks. There's a machine over here that seems unbeatable. That one with the sucker planted in front? Tell me when it gives up, and I'll make it cough cold change. Hola. No drinks for me, thanks. Uh, why do you want to get him into a sheet? I told him there was a big toga party at the casino room after he changed. Hmm, you're trickier than I thought. Not again. I'll get you. Special assignment Ryan just in from Salvador. It. Crack that machine and leave Not the chain funny. right away. Yes, sir! Hey! Back! Young lady! My system worked. I knew it. I told you. That's great. Now let's go so you can buy me a drink at the Romano. I'll meet you at the train station with the tickets. There won't be one for me, so you'll have to go back by yourself. I'll tell that gatekeeper everything. He has to help us. Come, my lovely. I have another infallible system I'd like to demonstrate. Ow. in the shoulders, but at least it doesn't reek of sled dog. I'm not going up there unarmed.
Calling all cars. Calling all cars. Manuel, is everything okay? Uh, the, just testing the equipment, Sal. Salvador, maybe you should shut that thing off so we can talk. Any messages for me? No, nope. call stopped coming for you the day you left. They're still sending you that lingerie catalog, though. Any messages for me? No, nope. there's... Come here, little manny. Ow! Hey, must be a little bitchy. Okay, don't bite. This is a note. You like notes, remember? Well, here goes nothing. Go, baby, for la revolución! For me? I know what you're up to. I've been watching. I'm coming to sprout you myself. George truly, Hector Lemans. I knew it! I knew he was out to get me the whole time! You'll never find my secret out of that door. You're going to have to find yourself another Flores! Bowsley run down here, but where did he go? No use for it. No use for it. If I touch that stuff, I'd end up with morning glowing mittens. Not picking that up. You know, if I had had a car like this when I was alive, things would have been different. Not so high! No use for it. No use for it. Look out! If I touch that stuff, I'd end up with morning glory mittens. Flakes of bone are sprouting when they hit the puddle and turning into baby tears.
down there. Never mind. Go back to sleep, whatever you are. I could follow the trail this way, but I need a little light. Hey, what's that? That must be the floor's hideout. No, not that. The thing coming at us! I can't reach that high. This remote control works the bone wagon suspension. Hector? I'm Hector, not is touching that you? any of these human remains. I'm not touched. This human remains sane. It's locked. Hector, is that you? They're southern shut! What's that? What are you doing? Are you crazy? Get back! Put your hands over your head! Put your head in your hands! Put your head in your lap! Freshness counts! You better back off, man! You are crazy! I say get back, Hector! I mean it! I'm not feeling too it's rosy! Not. They're southern shut! I'm having... I feel... I'm thinking I better... Things are I'm gonna not change around any here! Of these human remains. Yeah, man! Who, who, who do you think you're fooling? Listen, Bowsley, I'm not here to hurt you. Listen, Bowsley, I'm here to hurt you! It's not Hector, it's Manny Calavera. It's not Hector. It's Manny Calavera come to sprout ya. Look, I need a gun to put Hector out of business. Look, I need a gun. I need Hector. We're in business. Listen, I really need that gun. I'm thinking I better. Things are gonna change around here. Yeah, man. Listen, I really need that gun. Who, who, who do you think you're fooling? I love plants, is that so wrong? Plants are beautiful! You people, you think plants are dead? Plants are life! You all, you are all dead! You're all the same! 
If people were plants, the that world would be a better place. I could make everybody into plants. That soul has already been reaped. I've got enough juice right here to turn the world green. That soul has already been reaped. I've got half a mind to. I got half a mind. That soul what? has already been reaped. I didn't say anything of the kind. Listen, I really need that gun. Where do you get off? Listen, I really... How can I do to get you to take me seriously? I look at you, and I see a garden waiting to happen. I don't really want to do that. What you haven't seen, you haven't seen the meadow. You want to take a walk in the meadow, punk? And then he says to me, you'll get steady fats! My scythe. I, like, I, I don't want to mess up my blade. I don't want to... My scythe. I like to keep it That's next to where my heart is. I don't want to mess Plants up my blade. Kill? My scythe. I you like to keep it next to where my door. heart used to be. Is that what you want? Hey! Do you know what you just did? You just opened Pandora's box! You get out of here right now or I'll let you have it. I'll... I don't want to mess up my blade. I don't want to mess up my... Hey there, stranger. Can I help you? Uh, uh, I'm looking for something in a 9mm. Oh, well, I have a very pretty bouquet of that right here. There you go. Would you like some baby's breath to go with that? Sure. All right, here you go. You have a great day now. I'm here to conduct business with Hector Lamans. I just spoke with him on the phone and he's expecting me. You know Hector Lamans, eh? Hockey ducky, then answer me this one simple question. <laughs> okay, how old was Hector Lamans when he stole his first dollar? Sorry, <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector Lamans. All right, let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay, if Hector Lamans were a cat, how many lives would he have? Nine. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector Lamans. All right, let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay, if Hector Lamont were driving a car 50 miles an hour, then what number am I thinking of right now? Eleven. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamont like I know Hector Lamont. Yeah, right. All right, let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay. What are the odds in a million of Hector Lamont's slot machine paying out? One? Oh, sorry! <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamont's like I know Hector Lamont's. All right, let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay, how many limos does Hector Lamont have in his garage? Two? Oh, 
sorry. <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamas like I know Hector Lamas. Let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay. What is Hector Lamanz's favorite prime number? Seventeen. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamanz. All right. Let's go, buddy. Okay, how many stones might an Englishman say that Hector Lamans weighs? Making up these questions. I'm sure it would seem that way to someone who doesn't know Hector Lamans. All right, let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay, what is Hector Lamans' specific gravity in units of 1,000 per? Sorry! <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector Lamans. All right. Let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay. What is... Six. Yeah, well, that was an easy one. Too bad. I win. Best two out of three. Don't mess with me. I know Hector Lamans. Celso Flores, what are you doing in Hector Lemon's waiting room? Oh, he sent us out here to make up our minds about his offer. Who are you? If you don't mind me asking. Is this your wife, Celso? Yes, we've just returned from a lovely cruise. Well, it became lovely once I caught up with you, my little tamale. Your travel agent. Oh, I have a travel agent already. But he's miles away mopping floors in an automat, so I suppose the position is open. Well, if you need more help with your decision, I'll be around. Yes, well, thank you. Nothing. See? <laughs> I knew you could change him. What? Who are you? I'm the Grim. Ah! Oh, I wouldn't talk to him right now. He's mad at us because we won't buy his tickets. Try this one more time. You'll have to wait your turn. I'm in the middle of some very frustrating negotiations here. Gah! So, are we ready for our ride on the big train? Well... Actually, I work for Hector. He sent me to answer your questions. Eh, uh, I'll handle this, my sweet one. What can you tell me about these double-end tickets? This price seems much more than double. It's a scam. The tickets are counterfeit. 
take your money and run. Ho, ho, ho! Don't try any of that tricky reverse psychology on me, my friend. The real question is, don't you feel you're worth it? I know we're worth it, but are the tickets worth it? What exactly are you saving your money for? A rainy day? Because let me tell you, you're dead. Every day is rainy from now on. Yes, but there's no reason not to be careful with your money. Well, enough about you guys. Let me tell you about my problems. Actually, we have a lot of talking we need to do, so... This makeup breathes about as much as vulcanized rubber. Yes, but it brings out your strong jaw. I can't raise my arms in this suit. Well, let's just hope no one pulls a gun on you tonight, huh? I just got back from the worst vacation I've ever had. Actually, I just got back from quite an adventure myself, so... Well, I'm sure you've seen flying spiders and flaming beavers, but trust me, it gets worse. You see, I've been to the edge of the world and back. I had no idea traveling the land of the dead was so fraught with peril. Now, how much would you pay just to skip the whole thing? Darling, come. Let us blow our nest egg together. Mr. Lamans, we've decided to take you up on your generous offer. Excellent. Excellent. The little lady changed your mind, eh? No. Actually, it was your agent over there. Of course. He's one of my best. <laughs> well, come on in. Let's chat, shall we? Ah, still got it. I don't know who you are, and I don't know what spell you cast on the florist couple, but stick around. Once I'm done with them, there's something across town I'd like to show you. Am I talking about just a job here, or am I talking about opportunity in the general sense? We've had a lot of openings in this office in the last couple of years, and frankly, we've had trouble filling them. I could really use a closer like you on the team. This could be your office. Yeah, try this on. See how it feels. That's yours too. And as an added bonus, 2% of these, Mr... My name's Calavera, and I want a bigger cut. <laughs> oh, but Mr. Calavera, I'm going to need most of these to get myself out of this world. You see, I've been a very bad boy. <laughs> I'm going to deliver those tickets to their rightful owners, and I'm going to deliver you to the Campos pile. I... I bet I could get over to the other roof on the leg of this sign, but the leg's pointed too far down and it looks like Hector blew the motor. I bet I could get the legs pointed... Thank you. 
No, I have to get to that suitcase before the tickets blow away. I bet I could get over to the other roof on the leg of the side of the leg. Still stronger than me. It's cracked. Too steep to climb. Too steep to... Too steep to climb. There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. There can't be... I'd better save... Too steep to climb. I don't want to mess up my blade. It's cracked, but still stronger than me. Too steep to climb. Too steep to climb. Too steep to climb. Too steep to climb. It's cracked, but still stronger than me. Sproutella, not spackle. It sprout. I'm saving my ammo for the big guy. I bet I could get over to the other roof on the leg of this sign, but the legs pointed too far down and it looks like Hector blew the motor. Can't sprout that. much for my third arm.
get in. Quick. We were supposed to have coverage back there. Where are all of Salvador's men? I don't know. He hasn't told me yet. Hola, Manuel. Time for you to swing, Daddy-o. Let's see you walk. These flowers? All people Hector has sprouted? Hey, when you're on top like my boyfriend Hector is, you make a lot of enemies. What? You know, you really have bad taste in men. No, I have a taste for really bad men. There's a difference. Loves me not. Well, you're half right. Oh, Manny, so cynical. What happened to you, Manny, that caused you to lose your sense of hope, your love of life? I died. I see. <laughs> I guess Domino is right. You don't have a shred of optimism. Well, when it comes to shreds, Dom is the expert. And by that same logic, Manny, you're about to become an expert in botany. Is this where you tell me all about your secret plan, Hector? How you stole double-end tickets from innocent souls, pretended to sell them, but really hoarded them all for yourself in a desperate attempt to get out of the land of the dead? No. <laughs> this is where you writhe around in excruciating pain for about an hour because that idiot Bowsley ran off with all the fast-acting Sproutella. No, this slow stuff will sprout you, but it's going to take a long time, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Manny! Where are you going? You've got some time, you know, before you have to leave. <laughs> Get it? Leave! <laughs> Gracias, Toto Santos. Come on, shake it for me, baby. One of you must be mine. Salvador? Manuel, listen carefully. There's a gun in the trunk of this car, but the trunk key is with my body somewhere in the meadow behind the greenhouse. Find it! Right, and tell Leva that I know she will guide the Alliance wisely when I am gone. For when I bite this explosive tooth, the deadly cloud will sprout not just my target, but me as well. Your target? What are you- Hey, get out of there! Farewell, my friend! What were you talking about with the head of the LSA in there? Huh, Sal? Got something you want to share with the class? Only this. Viva la revolucion! Ah! 
He's fine right where he is. It's locked. Hey, my scythe. Well, what do you know? Sal had a ticket all along. It's amazing how Salvador's ticket is still drawn to him. I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do that. This must be the key to Salvador's trunk. Ah, yes. Lots of ammo. Freeze, Hector. Yeah, you heard me. That doesn't sound good. You can count them if you want. They're all here. How about yours? The company gave me one on the other end. Sort of a retirement present. 
And, uh, demons ride free, right? Aw, oh, man, you know I can't go with you. I'm a spirit of the land and all that. I can't ever leave this world. I guess I got so wrapped up in saving people, I just assume I'd be able to save you too. Yeah, but I don't need to be saved. I like it here. I'm not all alone in that basement anymore, thanks to you. I got a new job and all these new friends. I'm a big demon success story. So, I guess this is it then. Come here, give me a hug. Oof. <laughs> you were the best boss. I have had. Bye. <laughs> Manny? Yeah? When we get to the next world... What is it, Angel? Are we going to be together? You know, sweetheart, if there's one thing I've learned, it's this. Nobody knows what's gonna happen at the end of the line. So you might as well enjoy the trip. <laughs>